believe it. How early are we? What the heck? Hello? 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 It's so early! It's, it's 12, it's 12.23 a.m. p.m. I mean. Uh, crazy early. How even is this legal? Yet here we are. What a day. Um, hello? <laughs> do, do. Wait, uh, did I pause the music or did I not? I did. Hello? Yeah, it's. I, I decided this week we're trying it out earlier. Because uh, otherwise I would just literally be sitting here for, for, for like another four hours waiting for stream time. But, um, we'll see if this, how this works, you know. I see some new names, which is fun. Or new names, but some names that maybe aren't necessarily around at this, at this time. <laughs> otherwise. So that's good. Um, like Jazz Ness? N Ness? Like, what the heck? Such a new, new, new person. Unfortunately, though, um, I can't, I can't have a, a camera on my face today. <laughs> well, I could, but I don't want to. And, and then also, I have no coffee. Um, so if I fall asleep, just let me know. And, I, and I'll, I'll try to, try to fix that. Okay, anyway. Boltonic. Getting my brother ready for school. Oh, hey, look at that. I'm like a morning, a morning radio show. Today on the news, uh, that's the, the bus fell over and there's no school. You can stay home. Ha <laughs> ha. No, you can't. I was just joking. But didn't you feel great for a second then? Anyway, off to, off to school. Okay, continue. <coughs> and the already Bye. spread thin guard force is calling it the worst night of, and I quote, creepy shit they've ever seen on <laughs> St. Swithin's Day. Oh no! And that's saying a lot. So if you see any of the few guards trying their darndest to keep things together inside our fair city walls, just go up and give them a hug, because Poe Buddy's nerfect. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, there appears to be a typo in that last statement. You're listening to The Morning Crawl, where we won't be playing any of today's top hit music because we will be keeping all frequencies clear in the event of an emergency broadcast. This is Dodger, signing off alone because all of my animal co-hosts were turned into food rations. Rip. Rip co-hosts. Yeah. They did cancel school today? Wait, did they cancel school because it's an eclipse today? Can you not go to school in an hey, eclipse? Hey, a letter arrived from Dad. I guess you can't see your, see your homework. Dear Lil, I haven't received your last letter yet. I really could have used the pick-me-up. What? Things are getting really hectic Wait, here. Wait, what, what? Hey. Everyone is busy getting ready for the upcoming naval battle. Even though I don't have any training at all, I'm getting stationed on one of the attack boats on the front lines. But don't worry, I overheard the Admiral say that there may be a plan brewing to unleash a ferocious sea monster, if they can find one. But they'll have to make sure there aren't allies in the water when they do. So that sounds like a plan, right? <laughs> I don't really know what's in store for me, but I'm doing my very best so I can get home, and we can finally get our lives back on the right track. Well, wish me luck. I think I'll need it this time. Love, but, Dad. But I sent him a letter. I gave a letter to uh, the guy at the docks. I guess all the fighting has disrupted the postal service. Oh, the humanity! Oh, maybe that's it. Maybe, maybe next time I see Mr. Fantastico, 
He will have it on his head as a hat. Garby! <laughs> this is your last shift down here at the shed. Oh, what? It is? How? How'd you hear? Cecil told me. He's actually been running interference for you behind the scenes this whole game. Interference? <laughs> he wanted me to make sure you're all stocked up for your shift. Oh. Oh, hey! Oh, that's nice. How are you ever supposed to have all that money? Man, you would have to be so corrupt. Okay, I will take two of your normalest crystals and one dodgy one. Peace. Are you sure you've got everything you need? No. I've got a big walk to the east gate ahead of me. Do you want to buy a bag of rice? Open shop pay. No, I'm done. Thanks for everything, Garby. Oh. Rip Garby. Yeah, you probably do have to confiscate as much as possible and sell it, but that would be so, that would feel so mean. <laughs> it's their stuff. Uh, this message is for Lil. Ooh. Hey Lil, they're letting me add something to the writ. Isn't that neat? I just wanted to let you know that the Cyclops was the mole and that the GLA <clears throat> has been able to successfully do five missions with that incident. Thanks to your help. Have a great last day. Sorry, I couldn't convince Desi to keep you on longer, Chuck. Oh, Chuck. Somebody left the door to the food reserves open last night and the enchanted ice melted away. Looking at you, Randy. We'll need to restock with fresh, non-rotten food, so be on the lookout for that. Okay. Middle Manager Mike Melroy. Attention, Randy's friends and colleagues. He is officially exiled from the sprawl. Randy. We have confirmed once again that the previous battle was lost in large part due to the state of the draft soldier's equipment. It's your job to turn coal into diamonds if there's any... Way to improve the state of the drafted soldiers before signing them up. What? Did I do that? You put out a call for mercenaries to- Oh yeah, we lost the fight. I forgot. We lost the war. Um, we have to put out a mercenary all defenses, sprawl, security budget, but a locality your buddy the queens and mercenary. Okay. If you get bang for buck, mm, but but you want diamonds. You want a diamond for a buck, though. As a result of the sprawls, mummies and daddies being turned into cannon fodder. <laughs> mummies with a U? Um, I'm seeing lots of vagrant hooliganism from the feral and orphan youths. Don't be taken in by their rosy cheeks and recently lost baby teeth smiles. Some of them are real stinkers. Oh. Little guy again. Okay. Um, well, definitely x-ray. One, two, three. Eh, one, two, dodgy. When you use the machine, do you use the dodgy one first? Do you start out and go in? Because then I should do this. Oh. Uh, okay. I guess you do. Hmm... Earth spray is good. Metal detector is boring. <laughs> Decodering has been surprisingly useful. The whip? Yeah, I'll have to. Oh, hey, look. We're actually doing pretty good. I'm even going to save one. Wait, this is my last day. No, I'll save one for memories. What's wrong with Mummy with a U? Mummy with a U is the thing that's wrapped in bandages and undead and stuff. Oh, hi! It's me, Kelly. I remember you from the wedding. You hired me to serve the soup to all those bigwigs. Why they wanted Monty's soup at the royal wedding, I have no clue. But, you know, rich people. I've got a wagon full of food for my boss to help with the whole people dying of starvation thing. <coughs> That's nice. If you just go a little bit more nasal, you would sound very similar to tree trunks. I think you should do it. 
Oh, hey, do you want a bag of rice and a sticky bun? I mean, I know people are starving. It feels weird to just sort of hoard those for myself, but... Um... Let's just see what you say. I didn't know Monty's was part of the war effort. Oh, yeah, we have been slammed in Monty's lately. What with all the food rationing, we're running out of soup. I had to go all the way to the Monty's in Caladar to get supplies. Mm. Heck of a trick for a Cyclops in heels. <laughs> you, you just went to another fest or another diner to get more soup? I'm going to tease you on that one. Why did you wear heels to make such a long walk? Don't you have any hiking boots? Hello, Trevor. Psh, Welcome to Pish. I can Pish. do it all and look good while doing it, honey. I, it just seems a little unnecessary is all. Okay, I would love to be able to ask what's in your cart. Oh, wait, can I click it? It highlights differently. What kind of food did you get? <gasps> I don't know. Stuff for soup? I didn't ask too many questions. They seem to know what we needed. Anyway, my manager gave me a list. Here, take a look. Stuff for soup. She has a list of ingredients of most of them are marked perishable. Perishable, perishable. Trust everything that is perishable. I, I get the same from my bosses here at the gate. I don't ask too many questions. Mostly because I don't think they know the answers. Amen, honey. Okay. I mean, you seem... I'm not going to say trustworthy, but you seem... Up front. What? what did, was, 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 am I supposed to call someone? About the food? Somebody left a letter to... Middle manager Mike Melroy. I can't call middle manager Mike Melroy. There's no such person as middle manager Mike Melroy. Let's do a squirt. No, let's do a cheeky x-ray. Let's do a squirt. Oh, I get to pick. Oh, that's nice. Uh, let's do a dodgy squirt. Oh, hey. Nice. I was happy to get a couple weeks out of the sprawl. Things with Orlando haven't been going so hot. I think he's been two-timing me with some younger Cyclops. Now I understand what his ex-wife Denise must have felt like, and it makes me sad. But mostly I feel bad for the kids. Polyphemus is quiet, but Orlando Jr. sure is taking it hard. This freaking Orlando. This guy, I swear. We get on really well, and I think he's having a hard time seeing his dad as a bad guy. He kind of is, though. Hmm. All right, well, you can come. You seem to be... You seem to be fine. I don't necessarily agree with your... With your practices, but... <laughs> go on in, you weirdo. Gee, thanks, kid. I can't wait to get this into the kitchen and put my feet up. My dogs are barking, if you know what I mean. See you around. Okay, well, that doesn't, that doesn't, uh, oh. Cart had bad food, but you didn't know because you didn't ask. I tried asking. I try fine. 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 <laughs> yeah? Who? No? What? Wait, I heard who? the news. Dan this is your emote? last shift down here at the shed. Animated emote? Who? What? What? What's an animated emote? Who? Oh, the <laughs> the the looking from side to side one. Right, I forgot. Twitch added a bunch of uh, new preset animation where you could just put a picture, and it will like animate the still image. Cecil told me. He's actually been so running tried interference it with that for you behind the scenes this whole game. He wanted me to make sure you're all stocked up for your shift. Yeah, it's like, hmm, 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 hmm. 
Unless you're on YouTube and then that whole conversation made no sense because you can't see those emotes, I think. Bing bong. Wait! Wait a minute. Are you sure you've got everything you need? Thanks for everything, guard. Wait a minute. Did I not get the money back, but I didn't keep the crystals? What? Hey. I, re I reset the day and I didn't keep my crystals, but I didn't get the money back. So now I'm I have no money and two crystals less. Hey, that's not fair. That's not fair at all. Oh, man. All my crystals. Oh, man. I'm all poor. Oh, man. I can't even. Oh, man. Oh, man. I can't even fill up my. Oh, man. Can't even put nothing in the whip. Oh man. Restart game. Yeah, since it is the first day anyway, I wonder if I if I do this. If it restarts me from the save. Cause that feels a little unfair. <laughs> those 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 60 golds worth. Gold's worth. Gold's worth. Bring me more Oh. Right. And the and yeah, yeah, we went through this. And then Dad come, comes back with his little letter. Oh, I'm so sad you didn't send hey, the thing. The post doesn't work. Blah, blah, blah. Dear, wish me luck. Dear, I guess wish me luck. That's how things could have happened. This is the one thing we didn't want to happen. How do Hey, money. One, two, three. Peace. Are you sure? Yes, yes. Thank okay, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're back. Now. There you go. It's a little weird that I can't do anything with my rice and my sticky bun. <laughs> I don't like having them there. Ta-da! And I have my one memento. Memento. Birdie, oh, hi! Birdie. It's me. I've... So, do you want me to x-ray you? I'll talk to you first. I didn't know Monty's was part of the war effort. Oh, yeah, we have been slammed in Monty's lately. What with all the food rationing, we're running out of soup. I had to go all the way to the Monty's in... Okay, so there's no difference between clicking her or the cart. Hmm. Mm hmm. Why did you wear heels to make such a long walk? Psh, I can do... <laughs> okay, same thing. Now, the, th <clears throat> the thing said that I didn't ask about the food, the bad food. I can't decide what I ask. Let's do this. Let's do a, let's do a dodgy, no, let's do a proper x-ray. Show me potato salad. Oh. Mmm. Oh. Your wagon is full of rotten food. Well, it wasn't rotten when I picked it up two weeks ago. That's really not great. I mean, yeah, you can't come in with rotten food. Um... 
call, call, call the police. What kind of food did you get? I don't know, stuff for soup? I didn't ask too many questions. They seem to know what we needed. Anyway, 6.40 AM headed to work. Here. Take a look. Go, go Mingle, work. Work so good. Perishable. I mean, you did, it did say perishable. I understand. I get this. Amen. It did say perishable and also, uh, I'm not going to put you in jail, but I'm going to say, ne ne ne. Oh, sad face. Hey, kid. I don't got to take this from you, too. I get enough of this kind of treatment from Monty. You want to deal with this food? Then do it. I'm out of here. Here. <laughs> when is the eclipse? Oh, yes, the sprawl is desperate for food, but it's not desperate for dysentery. Good catch, guardsman. Thanks. Because I'm looking out the window right now, and it's all, like, nice and sunny out. A There's blinding old rage man. fills my eyes. It is the gatekeeper who ruined oh, hey. my wedding day. How have you, honorless child, been allowed to keep such an important position? Oh, I've been doing pretty good. Uh, there's an old man across the, across the lawn in between the houses, cleaning a, cleaning a grill. Nope, it's a bike. It's a bike cleaning a grill. It wasn't an old man. Uh, hello. <clears throat> Thank the walls of your shed for protecting you from the taste of my blood. If I still had it. Kapla! Wait, what happened? Did I confiscate it? No, I only steal silverware. What's up? Despite my blood feud with you, Guardian, it does not please me that the Sprawl has been so brutally punished by the Kingdom of Petrard. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I was drinking water. Uh... Sorry about that. This war has been conducted most dishonorably by those pathetic Petrardians, and your city has been ruined. Much in the same way as you ruined my wedding. Shh, 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 shh. <sighs> um, the war has been... I mean... Wait, who are we? The Petrardians are the baddies, right? Are we the baddies? Doubt. I doubt you could even help us if you wanted to. Marvog is no match for the might of the kingdom of Petrard. <sighs> you are attempting to use tricky reverse psychology <laughs> against me. It will fail. So tricky. That's what Prince Phineas said too. He figured you'd be too dumb to understand what it was. He said that? Too dumb, eh? Well, I will destroy the kingdom of Petrard myself! hey -o. My trickiness! Oh, I, I My trickiness was so tricky. One thing and then ding. Ah. They call me the thr tricky thing and ding. My expertly... By expertly using reverse psychology and turning their pride against them, they became a wonderful agent for this brawl. Right on! I really wonder what this button does. <laughs> Very cunning. Oh! Hail, Groundwalker. I am Marabella. Why did you make footstep noises when you walked up here? Did you play footstep noises over a speaker to fit in? Hi, I'm Lil. Uh, anything else? I don't know. I've never been above water before. You lead the way. Oh. Oh. Okay. I think there's a fish trying to eat your head. And butt. Did you, like, get swallowed? Maybe this isn't a mermaid. Maybe they got swallowed by a fish, but then they, like, s s hit a growth spurt so and grew so fast that it separated the head from the body of the fish. And now they're just stuck in there. It could happen. 
All right, anyway. Um, <clears throat> do you want rice? What's up with you? What? Okay. Hmm. Uh, should we go for a quick beep beep beep? See if it actually is a fish. <gasps> oh, okay. I thought there was going to be like sneaky legs in here. What's this? This old shell holds the message I've been sent to deliver to you. This shell retains sound. They say it can even hold on to sounds from many years ago, like an archive or time capsule. Hmm. I've always wondered what other sounds might be hidden in this shell. <gasps> well, well, well. I just so happen to have the ability to squirt. Uh, but I'll use my ring this time. Let me see that shell. Beep, beep, boop, boop, boop. Oh! Delicate runes carved into the shell suggests that the breaking it is the only way to unlock its archived contents if you've forgotten your password. Hmm. Hope this works. Yeah! No! Maybe ask, though. Oh no! My shell! That music! It is the song <laughs> of my people! <laughs> that song was trapped inside this shell all along! Thank you! Thank you so oh. much! The mer people of Bubble Town will sing their devastating <laughs> war song once again. Bubble Town. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Goes back to Ariel. Um. Oh. Uh. Ted J. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, have fun. All right, Marabella. Get in there and sing your heart out. You're officially drafted. Thank you, Lil. And thank you for helping me find my song. And with that song in my heart, I will rip out the enemy's heart and feel their warm blood fall upon my scaled body. Nice. You do you, Mirabella. <laughs> Officially? <laughs> oh. This is the place. I got the call. I'm a mercenary. H hat man? Pause. Your move kid are you supposed to be the mandalorian i feel like you're supposed to be the mandalorian um okay what's up do you want to get whipped well do you let's actually let's start with just asking a question okay what's your deal the deal is simple kid you let me in, and I will jumpstart your city's defenses and give your leadership precious information about your enemies. Okay. How? Oh, cool. Not so fast. You don't let me in. I'm taking the same info about the sprawl and selling it to the highest bidder. Okay, all okay. Right. come on in. Not so fast. It'll cost you. <laughs> Wait, do you want to come in or what? How much? Well, that's up for negotiation. Jeez. <laughs> I'm gonna tease you. Have a s concrete answer. How do I know you're not gonna take the money and run? Yeah. A Bangalorean always keeps their word. <laughs> a Mandalorian that gets to bang extra much? Whoa, that's a goofy name. It is. Two thousand gold. What? How how are you ever supposed to have these kinds of caches? Get spritzed, punk. Bangaloreans have developed complete immunity to any sort of truth spray through our training from birth. What? This proves vital to our work as intergalactic bounty hunters. No. Aw, oh, nerds. Nerds. 
Nerds. Nerds. Nerds. Whip him. You don't bring a whip to a blaster fight. <laughs> oh no! Oh what, Commander? I mean, Bango. He shot you with a blaster. You are the pile of ash for once. Bango. How could you? Oh, hello. This is the place. I got the call. I'm a mercenary. Okay. Your move, kid. <laughs> okay. Hey, um, could you take your hat off? Is, is there a... Are we waiting for this fella? We put out a call for mercenaries. Aha. Uh -huh. Small treasure has been allocated for this incentive. Try not to overspend the kingdom's money. Let's call Ash. We need good bang for buck. And this is a Bangalore. So the writ specifically mentions bang for buck, which sounds great. Ash. Bangalore for buckalore? A Bangalorean, eh? Interesting. Bangaloreans hear much and speak little. This one must be in dire straits to be making this deal. Oh. Squeeze him. Use those negotiating tactics we've spent all those sessions honing. Sessions? What sessions? Damn it, Travis! I distinctly remember Travis. a memo on that idiot's desk to schedule sessions with you. Somebody's fired. Again. Freaking Travis. So, what do I do? Step one, negotiate. Thank you for attending the session. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you. So, Mr. F guy with a face. Okay, How about less deal? money? The deal is simple, kid. You let me in, and I will jumpstart your city. Okay, well, we heard oh. that. Not so. Okay. Not so. How? Well. Hmm. Doubt. How do I know you're good for it? A Bangalorean always keeps their word. Okay. How much? All right. One thousand gold. Okay. Five hundred gold. <laughs> Fine. Five hundred. Oh, hey. We're great at negotiation. I'm offering you 500 gold. We do. Oh, whoops. Uh, yeah, no, I work good. Thank you for lowering the price. Yeah, don't mention it. No, really, it means a lot. I said don't mention it. <laughs> if people hear about this, I'll never make full price again. <laughs> Sorry. My lips are sealed. Do you want a sticky bun? Or a bag of rice? As compensation to jail. Now you go on ahead. Hey, Ash, you owe me fifteen hundred. That's how much money I saved you. I'll assist your city with its defenses and provide enemy intel for the agreed upon price of five hundred gold. Sweet. Here, take this contract to the castle. They'll settle up with you. A pleasure doing business with you, kid. Oh, that went well, I think. Ding! The Bangalorean will aid in the defense of the sprawl. You and you got him for his lowest possible price. Oh, now I feel bad. He should still be able to make a good living. Oh hey! Charm to make your acquaintance, young gateminder. I am Gary Dolt, son of B and Brian Dolt, <laughs> and I wish to pass. Will you require anything else? I've met you before, Gary. Gary, it's me, Lil, remember? Magnus the Magnificent? Of course. Pleasure to see you again, Lil. Shapeshifter. Now, pass. I'm off to a meeting at the Majors Guild. No, you're not. You're off to a meeting at the GLA. It's over there and down that alleyway to the left. Oh, of course. But I, I remember now with the password popcorn. No, it isn't. The password isn't popcorn. The password is pear soup. Oh, yes, of course. And I'm going to meet with Fred. No, you're not. You're going to... <laughs> I just keep giving all, giving away all of the information. Hey! Shapeshifter! Beep, 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 boop. Oh, um... 
How about a spritz? How about a, sp a dodgy spritz? Go for it. No. Nice. I've been summoned to the side of my mentor, the powerful master Tyronius of Thanatos. Mm. He is pushing the Mages Guild toward what he has dubbed a grand realignment, putting mages at their proper place in the center of power. Why? If I play my cards right, I could end up being Tyronius's right-hand goblin. Any day now, we will rise again. What? Why are you... Why are you a meanie? Uh, why are you a meanie? Are you gonna go to school and eat our pens and pencils? I don't think I've actually ever had a dodgy crystal fail this run. Yeah, I had like... When I was testing the game or when, we, when I was uh, starting the game, I had like... I don't know, one or two dodgy crystals that worked. Everyone, they, they're supposed to have a 32% chance of success. They failed a lot more. I don't know if they've changed it or if I'm just really lucky. I don't know about this fella though. How do we, how do we verify these things? Mercenaries, mummies and daddies, um, striker, food, chuck, GLA. Like, this guy's on the wrong side, but I don't know if he's on the wrong side willingly or. Dude. I don't know if you heard, but I'm well on my way to becoming a full-fledged mage, a card-carrying member of the guild. So, like, we know that we awoke something, remember? In the last recap, we awoke something in Gary, and Gary went off to practice magic. But not with Athanatos, Tyr Tyronius Athanatos or whatever. Don't go to him. Heading in right now to meet with my tutor, Master Tyronius Athanatos. He's not much for having a laugh, but I've learned so much from him. But he's kind of evil. Mm, I'm doubtful. I didn't know that you had any magical abilities at all. Didn't seem like you did last time we met anyway. No, not mean to him. Oh. Well, I'm just a late bloomer. Master Tyronius has told me that I show great potential as a student, or apprentice, as we are called in the guild. A Sith? Sith? A Sith apprentice? Should we whip him? Do it. Ah! You pathetic smaggle! <gasps> Feel the wrath of a power crystal-wielding mage apprentice! <laughs> oh no! Oh! Oh! No! Oh man! The surprisingly powerful trainee mage killed you. <laughs> We're shocked too. Why did he do that? He turned evil fast. Charm to make your acquaintance, young Geary. It's me. Of course. Gary, what has happened to you? Hey, we got our crystals back, though. Okay, so the spray and the whip, pointless. Should we metal detect? I mean, I feel like everything he's saying is true. I just feel like he's evil. <laughs> Let's talk. I don't know if you heard, but I'm Okay, so the same, th same, same. Jail? Yeah. I'm gonna doubt. I didn't know that you had any. Well, I. Okay, and then I'm gonna talk. My magical skills have flourished exponentially ever since my precious birthday <gasps> present. 
Julian, that sweet sma um, simpleton, gave me this. <gasps> I added the pure, unrefined power crystal to my wand, and now I can truly feel the magic coursing through my veins. Oh no. Oh no. It's going to his head. Confiscate it. It's for the best. My wand! My power crystal! You tricked us into giving it to you! Us? See little gate guard stole it from us! <laughs> our power! Our present! <laughs> my present. You seem really precious about it. <laughs> ah! Thou, get out of here, you rascal. My, my, my present. You took away his darker, more powerful version of Gary the Goblin's new toy. He was getting too precious about it anyway. Yeah. I did. I did do that. Hey, now I can make some money, though. Oh! Avast, Petey! There blows a fine, upstanding guardsman! Uh, upstanding guardsman. Uh. Ew. We'll take our ship and blast our way through whatever scurvy barnacles are attacking the sprawl's waterways. Yar. Yar. So you're saying you'd like to be drafted? Yar. Aye, aye. That's a much more concise way to say it. Yar. <laughs> okay. Uh. Well. I mean. I'm a little suspicious about this. But you seem cool. I'm really, you know, I'm really impressed that still they're introducing new characters. Because I was a little worried that after you'd like met all the characters, it was going to be the same characters showing up day after day. Um, but nay. Hmm. Okay, what's up? Ahoy there, landlubber! The name's Captain Jane Pigeon, and this here's me fine-feathered matey Pete. Though yous can call him Petey if you're an old sea dog like me. Yar har har! Yar har! Eh? Old sea dog, eh? Hmm. Okay. Wow, a real-life pirate! You want to defend the sprawl from incoming attackers? Aye, I've heard tell there's plenty of doubloons and booty to be had by sending some enemies down to Davy Jones's locker. I mean, we, we already hired the Bangalorean, so... I'm not much? sure I understood all of that, but still, wow! Pr price point? <sighs> I'm gonna do a dodgy sprint or a dodgy x-ray. Don't do it! No! Hey, what? What is this magic? <gasps> You're gonna blow us up, aren't you? Yar! I do like the cut of your jib, young scallywag. Take ye this! A tank oh. of some of the fermenter's finest! To remember me by. Oh. Think of me when you're singing your pirate shanty. Oh, I like you. I'm 12. But I'll take it for my dad when he gets home. No, I'll take it to sell it, actually. Sweet. Thanks for the grog. Actually, it's an IPA. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Eh? Big juicy IPA. Eh? Hold on. Wind that back. What happened then? Um, how many? This is six out of eight. We have two left. Okay, I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna do a. Dodgy spritz. Maybe yeah. Maybe they would have gotten all drunk in the fight and not been able to fight. But like. Can I hire both Bangalorean and this lady? Don't do it. No! Man, I have the worst luck. 
Uh, all right, what's up? I be captain of the good ship Fermenter, the scourge of the seas. She's plenty yar and holds a crew of the scurviest scallywags to ever set sail. Makes we sense. also make the finest grog known to man. One taste and you'll be carousing shanties until you're three sheets to the wind. What does that mean? Three sheets to the wind? Are you sure you don't mean, mean like three sh cheeks to the wind? You know? Like two butt cheeks and like one face cheek into the wind? That's how drunk you are? Eh? Carousing shanties, eh? <laughs> Carousing shanties. Please stop using that stupid voice. I'm not a tourist. <laughs> yeah, okay. Fair enough. Aw. Eh? It's a character choice, eh? <laughs> you, you need to work on your whistles, buddy. Uh, Alright, fair enough. Since you dropped character... I'm okay with you now. I just wanted her to willingly admit that that, that, that she was putting it on. So now that she did, I trust. Mom, I trust you. You can defend our city. Thank you. I will serve the seas of the sprawl with dignity and passion. The enemy will not get through. You won't regret drafting me today. Sweet. Eh? Regret it, eh? Now I feel like I am gonna. Hey, why did you say that so, so, and so unnervingly? Tiny Tom. <coughs> Hello, I'm here to join my family in the refugee camp at the docks. <coughs> <laughs> at the docks. <laughs> the, the pause. Aww. Evil to jail. Definitely evil. Definitely, definitely evil. What's up? What's your name, little buddy? My name's Teeny Tom McGoblin, on account of I'm so teeny, and my last name's McGoblin. <laughs> my dad and mum and sisters already came through the gates. I was lagging behind on account of me bum leg. Yeah, I know, I remember. Aw, what happened to your leg? Yeah, I, his dad told us about it. It fell off. <laughs> oh no! Aren't limbs supposed to, you know, stay attached? I'm too poor to have limbs that stay attached. <laughs> it just fell off. Oh, I want to tease you about it, but I'll trust I you. I know your dad. He's Seamus McGoblin, right? The artist. Him an artist? No, Mum. He has a real job. He's a painter. He paints things. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, well, that was lovely. I'm definitely gonna let you in. I feel like I want to truth spray you because I just I'm just curious. Pish, push. I love me dad and me mum and even me sister so much. Sometimes I feel like I could just burst when I see them. They all treat me with such kindness oh. and help me when it's hard for me to get around. Oh. Sometimes Dad lets me ride on his shoulders, and I feel ten feet tall. That's the truth, and I ain't hiding anything, uh. except for me knife I use for robbing elderly people. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and there's the twist. I love robbing elderly people, and I won't stop. I'll never stop. <laughs> it gives me a thrill like nothing else does. <laughs> I'll die before I stop. No elderly person is safe from me and me robbing knife. <laughs> okay. Oh my god! Um, uh, well, see now, now I'm kind of doubting whether or not I should let you in. <laughs> um, but, uh, um, where? Oh, oh no! What do I do? Should we, <laughs> should we, should we put him to the jail? Should we metal detect him and steal the knife? I do have a metal detect left. Try it. If I can take his knife, then. Oh, uh, is that a knife you have on you? Oh. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> hey, you do. Wait! Human monster! You're back! Or are you? 
you! Naughty jail. <laughs> there was a naughty jail request. Sitting there. Waiting. Waiting. And now you're naughty. <sighs> okay, you can come back. Anyway, knife! I scanned you and it shows you're carrying a knife. No, no. <laughs> it's here. Yes, you are. Your machine's broken. Oh. You're too young to be carrying a knife. Mind your own business. <sighs> Sorry, bud. Try it and I'll cut your f <laughs> off. <laughs> no. No. Oh, he took it. Took a oh, whoops. Did he take you back? I... He took you back! Oh, what? I mean... I can't... I don't want to put you in jail, but... Now I kind of feel like you kind of deserve it. Jail! Sorry, buddy. You just can't stop him from robbing old people. It's just so much fun. Teeny Tom, you're going to jail for a long time. I mean, now I kind of want to try it in real life. He made it seem so fun and this game has influenced me. Is this because I like to rob elderly people at knife point? Mostly. Mostly because of that, yeah. I have to be honest, yeah, it's mostly that. Yes, 100%, that's <laughs> the reason. Hey, you Chloe. Ah, uh, no! You don't know me? Over here stepping all up on me like a Prison don't scare me. Bring it on, <laughs> Jeez. Who would, have, who would have thought that Tiny Tom would be such a it? And now... And it's... And then... The... F... You know? Jeez, Holy crap. To jail for you sure. You seem so harmless in your introduction. That's called a f ruse. See you on the outside in five to ten. I'm gonna get jacked on the inside. Okay, now I feel better about it. About my choice. Slammer. You jail the pine side sociopath and save the octogenarians of the sprawl. They live to cheek pinch another day. Nice. Oh. Um, hi. Is this where to sign up for the draft? Uh. Yes, it is. Wonderful. Uh, uh, okay. Would you like to be drafted to fight in the war? Question about the fish. Oh, no. It's not for me. It's for him. For who? My pet fish, Dennis. Dennis? Dennis? Okay, are we having a laugh at my expense now? No, no, I'm quite <laughs> serious. Are you having a bubble bath? You are the, the last one. wants to fight? He wants to fight, all right. And he is very good at it, I promise you. Mm, okay. Can we decode the fish? This is a real stretch, but I wonder what kind of fish that is. I, I, okay, well, not what I had in mind. I was kind of feeling we could like talk to the fish, read the bubbles. The sarcastic fringe head. These fish oh. are exceptionally quarrelsome, often fighting for territory or turf. With their mithril teeth and dense bone structure, they are indeed deadly sea creatures. Mithril teeth? Jeez. I pictured all of that as narrated by David Attenborough. Cool. You yeah, know, I, I got that part. You didn't have to say it. Now it wasn't as fun anymore. <laughs> okay. Um. Want some rice? Uh, why not? You know, why not let him in the in the navy? Yeah, sure. Sure, bud. What's up? 
he really is quite a violent fish. I get that sense as well. Mm, I, I, I trust that. Will it be safe to have him out there fighting? Good point. So long as no one else you want to keep safe is out there, he'll tear right through anyone or anything in his path. Well, see, now, now, mm, now that's bad. Now we are at red flag territory. Sorry, bud. You're going to eat us all. <laughs> if there was any sort of sentience here, then yes. But it seems I'm you've sorry. just brought draft you. Jaws. Not me, remember? It's for the fish. Still, though. I'm sorry. I can't draft him either. Oh. I wonder what the recap is going to be for the fish. <laughs> Did it eat him? Hey! What a way to, f to do apparently my last day at the office. They're going to regret firing me. Uh, yes, the sprawl is blah blah blue. Full point, full point, full point, and full point, and full points, and full points. Damn. Well, now what? There's supposedly a whole day left. Hmm. Oh. Oh! There's a balloon! <gasps> Karate! Surprise! Ah! Oh. <laughs> the, the, you should see the, the same look on somber your dumb song. Face. Hey, my dumb face looks exactly like it always looks. She looked like she was this close to peeing her pants. I'll pee your pants. You're not wrong. Well, the surprise isn't even the surprise, Princess Pee Pants. Wait till you see. Hey. Oh, I get to be a princess, though? Fair. Fair enough. Shh, don't spoil it. Okay, okay. Congrats on not having a job anymore. We're glad to have you back. Finally. Hey, Tish. Welcome to early stream. Ah, we're having a retirement party. You know, it, we've been working for what? Like a, a solid couple of weeks now? Uh, it's about time. We uh, put our feet up for the rest of time. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Arda. Mind if I write a quick letter to my dad? Oh. Uh, yeah. Maybe later, little, okay? Is dad dead? Maybe later. No, I have to send him one now. It can wait. Enjoy your party. And your surprise is over there by the fire. Is it dad's ashes? Is it dad's corpse in the but fire? first, I know you're just a kid, but I'll mix you up any drink you'd like on the house to celebrate everything you've been doing around here. What'll it be? Hmm. Hey, I have grog. Um, ew, warm milk. I am curious about the Petrardian fizzy, but I am a child. And all of these are alcoholic, no? Here's a milk. Coming right up. Sip. Uh. <laughs> hey, can I get some pigeon milk in that? I'm sure between my job at the city council and as an administrator with the Guard Corps, if the sprawl was on the verge of catastrophic collapse from within and without, Mike Melroy would know about it. Oh, right, you're Mike. I may be baked out of my gourd as per usual, but I'm telling you, I'm seeing bad omens everywhere. Something very bad is about to go down. Oh, Lil, Lil, congratulations. What a party. Are you having a good time? Uh, yeah. Honestly, I am. I'm really feeling the love, Echo. What's a love, Echo? I'm gonna miss this. 
I'm here to collect your badge and your gun. What badge and gun? Love Echo. Sounds kind of cool. Or sad. Maybe a love echo is just when you yourself are alone and loving <laughs> and you feel yourself, you know? Self-love. No one gave you a badge and a gun? How the hell did you navigate your way through 11 levels without your badge and your gun? Oh, I make do. There are plenty of ways to solve a problem without a gun. But the badge, Lil. It's all in the badge. I'm gonna miss this, too. Am I? Yeah, I guess so. Uh-oh. Magic lovers of the sprawl, please put your hands together for the one, the only, the Edward the Great Magician, Alakazoo, Alakazee. Oh, he's back to magic. Oh! Okay, that was pretty impressive, actually. Uh, oh, whoops. By the beard of Bertram Bartleby the Bloated, <laughs> I appear! Edward, the official officiant! It's the Edward, the great magician again! Come out of retirement to play one more preteen birthday party! How old are you today, little girl? Hey, at least he's got his glasses. I am... play along. I actually picked up a few tricks from a true blue real deal mage I met. Lil. M I'm not a mage. You mean this guy? I am small but nimble with a bushy tail. In trees I scamper never to fail. Hmm? I gather my food and store it with care. Do you know what animal I am? Do you dare? A squirrel. That's right! A sparrow! Uh. Ta-da! <laughs> no, I said... What? Good job. Sparrows don't have bushy tails. And since when do they scamper through trees? When they're not flying, of course. Yeah, okay. You got me there, the Edward. Pretty sure we can only conjure a sparrow. Wait, but if you can only conjure a sparrow, why did you... Oh, hey, I just saw the drawing. <laughs> nice. Why did you, uh, set it up to be a squirrel? Do you have time for another? Yeah. Okay, okay, here we go. I'm small and petite with feathers so fine. Definitely I sing not sweet Lord melodies, a sound Don't so divine. Anyone. Bye -do -fa -o. <laughs> not lurking at work? Okay, Odyssey, good. That's good. I in case your boss comes by, we all have your, we have your back. I we know flutter through the you're air not work lurking. And build my home high up in the trees. Who am I? Can you guess my name? I'm a little bird that's known for its fame. A squirrel. That's right. It's another sparrow. <laughs> Ta-da. Edward, these hints suck. I'm sure Becky Schneiderman would love these tricks, but I'm just not in the mood. <sighs> Despite your aggressive mediocrity at everything you try, I'm gonna miss you. Wait, I mean, I'm I'm just not gonna work the gate anymore. I'm not dying, am I? Am, am I? Am I dying? Dad! Miss, oh! There she is, my little guardsman. Techno hat. Who? What? When? Where? Why? What? Dad? What are you doing here? Oh, I missed you so much. What is going on? Shapeshifter! Stab him. You stopped writing letters. I, I got worried something had happened to you. Yeah. What could happen to me? I wasn't the one off fighting a war, remember? Yeah, but you get some pretty tough customers coming through that gate. Sometimes if you try to whip them, or even just talk to them in the wrong way, it's game over. I got worried. I noticed. So they let you leave the war because you were worried about your daughter? I mean, shouldn't you be fighting in an epic naval battle right about now? Yeah, with like dragons and stuff. Hey, where did Disney Girl go? No, they didn't. And yes, I should be. But I couldn't stand being at war for a second longer. 
I was actually pretty instrumental in winning a couple of battles out there. I did some amazing things for a chubby middle-aged guy. I think all because I was thinking about you and wanting to keep you safe. <laughs> WTF? No, I'll be happy about that. Things have been hard and weird and creepy, but I'm so glad you're here. I feel like I can take on anything if you've got my back. And I'm glad you didn't die. I'm glad I didn't die too. Ah, <laughs> oh, such nice, nice heartfelt moment. I could die any day now. Yes. This isn't about you, Mrs. Abernathy. All right, Seamus. I'll be up to tuck you in soon. We can figure out what the rest of our lives will look like in the morning. What if I'm the shapeshifter? What if we are shapeshifters? Whoa. Mr. Fantastico. This hat, it is not as fantastic as my previous hat. What? Really? Because I have to say that's a pretty fantastic hat. <laughs> it looks great. You should have seen my previous hat. I, my journey, it, it continues. continues. But this hat has a 3D printed save icon sticking out from the side. There's no pleasing some people. Uh, can I? Okay. Well, see you later. My search, it continues. So now what? Do we go to bed? Pretty cool, eh? It's pretty cool. I heard your dad abandoned his regiment mid-battle because he missed you so much. <laughs> Well, That's I nice. heard he single-handedly bested a death squad with his bare hands because he missed you so much. Oh, that is nice. I read on the councilwoman's death that he was granted leave because he left his daughter alone this whole time. That's also very smart. Aw, <laughs> uh, come on, Isla. Why do you always have to be like that? Like what? Like that. At any rate, your dad really loves you, Lil. Death squad or no? Hmm, I'm suspicious. I don't really have anywhere to be. This is all too... This is all too easy. It's too wholesome. What's going on around here? Who's been up to no good in these parts? What's happening with all of the folk? Oh, I don't know about this. Without the arrival of the wagon carrying ingredients, Monty's home of the soup was in a real predicament. Just like he did during the great bowl shortage of O2, Monty was going to have to improvise. Throwing eggshells, wood shavings, and anything else that seemed remotely edible into a pot, Monty created the new signature menu item, the Slim Pickin' Stew. Ew. Everyone who ate it experienced in uh, intense gastrointestinal pain and explosive diarrhea. At the restaurant, it took a substantial bribe to the health inspector and a very large mop to clean up the mess. Kelly put in her two weeks notice and started looking for another job. She was tired of being indirectly responsible for poisoning so many people. Oh, okay. Praetor Cargan was insulted to hear that Prince Phineas thought that she was too dumb to know what reverse psychology was. How dare he thinks some think something like that? She thought she was going to have to think of a way to make good on her vow to defeat Petrard once and for all. But how exactly was she going to destroy this entire kingdom of Petrard? She started thinking this was going to be tough. Maybe too tough. She probably shouldn't even try to do it. Maybe that's why she should do it. To prove that it could be done? And she was the only one brave enough to do it. But if she could be brave enough, anyone could, right? Maybe. Months of talking herself into and subsequently back out of doing battle with Petrard eventually drove the Praetor mad. Her people staged a coup and demanded a special ballet that would remove her as their leader. 
but maybe she should do the exact opposite of what they wanted, she thought. Maybe. Oh no. She's spiraling. The intelligence gained from the Bangalorean led to the evacuation of an outlying farming village before the enemy could attack, saving dozens of life. A win for the sprawl in a season of loss. Using the money raised for providing this intel, the Bangalorean was able to commission the design of a personal jetpack. His budget was a mere 500 gold, so it was an absolute hack job, and it immediately exploded, severely burning his face. Thank goodness for the helmet he already possessed. No. Without the pure unrefined power crystal from Julian to increase his magical might, it didn't take long for Gary to fall out of favor or even the awareness of the Dark Mages. According to his former mentor Tyronius, Gary was just not freedom ca ca caucus material anymore. After being unceremoniously dumped by the Dark Mages, Gary went back to his work with Julian at the GLA. It took quite a bit of work to deprogram Gary, but with tenacity and a bit of luck, Carl the Troll finally got through to him and shattered Tyronius' hold. However, to this day, Gary catches himself losing time and drifting off when the light hits a power crystal just right, reminding him of the dreams of power and fire he once had during his time with the mages. <laughs> He's got that thousand year and stares sometimes. Teeny Thom became the Prince of Prison. He crafted makeshift shivs and used them without prejudice to grow his reputation. He eventually joined the gang called the Little Rascals. It was easy to get members like Spanky and Buckwheat to accept him as their new leader, but there was a lot of pushback from their current leader, Alfalfa, and his handful of loyal followers. But they soon fell in line after Tom showed everyone how persuasive he can be with his shiv. Let's just say that they don't call him Alfalfa anymore. The McGoblin family couldn't afford Tom's bail, so the only reunion they ever had with their son was over the telephone and behind a thick layer of glass. That was probably for the best, I feel. I don't think Seamus McGoblin was bad, but Tom... Uh, yeah. Uh-oh. Well, we're dead. Okay. Three to one. Mary Bella returned home to Bubble Town with the message, We swim to battle. With a rediscovered battle song on their lips and in their hearts, Mary Bella and her tribe swam forth and fought valiantly alongside the Sprawls Armada. Captain Jane Pigeon and her pirates read cons her pirates, read costumed brewery employees, oh, raised the sails of the good ship Fermenter and set off for adventure. Luckily, the captain had the good fortune of removing their signature IPA from the ship prior to departure, which led the, which led the pirates to soberly take down a few more enemy vessels than they would have otherwise. Hey! Dennis ended his fishing his fish fighting career with an absolutely ridiculous record of 117 to 0. With one draw when someone accidentally pulled the plug out of the bathtub he was fighting in. Oh. His retirement was marked by his induction into the illegal fish fighting hall of fame. His owner could not be more proud. Oh, well that turned out surprisingly wholesome. Morning came and the waters of the sprawl harbor finally calmed. The enemy had been repelled, with minimal damage done to the docks and the city. Seagulls and other distinguished water birds gathered to feast on the enemy's floating face down, washing up on shore. But other than that, you'd hardly know there was even a battle at all. Oh. Did we do really well or something? Oh. Aftermath. We have just received word that the Sprawl forces have successfully pushed back the enemy. Oh! While some of the invading forces still remain just outside of the Sprawl, the remainder of the Petrardian detachment has been defeated or is retreating. While it is still too soon to declare victory, things are finally trending in the right direction. 
You probably can't tell by my voice, but I am very happy. Yeah, I can we will tell. be keeping this channel clear for further updates. Sweet. Well, that's great to hear. Maybe things can finally start to get back to normal. Oh man, after all of that, do I just get fired? Oh. Be nice or less nice. No, I'm gonna be. Why wouldn't I be nice? Hey, you two. Welcome to my bedroom, Cecil. Did you hear the news? We aren't gonna be slaughtered by an invading army after yeah. all. Yeah. Everything is we're coming up, Millhouse. Sorry for the intrusion, but this is official business. I was sent by Queen Desdemona herself to retrieve the Chronometer 3000 device. <gasps> Shapeshifter! Why? What does the Queen want with it? It's not my job to know. I oh. just know that the Queen ordered me to get it from you. The music. Music got all suspicious suddenly. You mean the queen that's definitely not acting like herself? The right. It's almost acting like she's being mind controlled by someone? It's not my job to know about that either. My instructions are to bring you with me to the war room if you don't comply. Mm. Then it sounds like I'm coming with you, Cece. Oh, don't call me that. I'm coming too. I know you got fired, but does that mean I did too? Should I be at work right now? <laughs> Probably. Fine. Dad, suit up. What makes you think I've got a suit? Right. Let's go. Hmm. So, are we thinking the princess is a shapeshifter or something else? I'm leaning shapeshifter because I feel like Mrs. Abernathy was the setup for that. But she does seem to snap out of it now and then. Hmm. It seems to be more of a... Oh. <laughs> I mean, her face... Ah, there she is, your majesty. Lilith, the gate guardsman. Yeah, this... This, is, <laughs> this seems pretty mind-controlled. <laughs> uh. Yes, Lilith. I see you chose not to simply hand over the Chronometer 3000 as requested. Hey. No, she did not. Stubborn as a mule gets it from her mother. And I'm her dad, Hamish. Hello, your majesty. I'm here to inquire about getting my gate guard gig back. My gate guard gig? Get my gate... Get my gate guard gig. Get my gate guard gig back. I want my gate guard gig gate guard gig gate guard gig gate guard gig. Oh, that's hard. I want my gate guard gig 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 back. Silence! Oh. Um... Chuck? Where's Chuck? Who? The Goblin Revolutionary is securely under lock and key. Your on husband! Of treason against Her Majesty. That's crazy! That's enough. Lilith, the Chronometer 3000, hand it over now. No. No. The game seems louder than usual. Is it super loud? I beg your pardon? Dr. B entrusted me with the Chronometer 3000 to test it out at the guard shed, so I could make sure that only the right people would make it into the sprawl. Yes, plus also if someone else is using it, they're gonna get scattered across the universe, so maybe we should let him use it and he'll get scattered, but then she won't and her necklace will stop working? Hmm. A position you sullied with your own personal agenda and no longer hold. You do not need the chronometer any longer. Tyronius does. I'm sorry, does that mean there's an opening? <laughs> How dare you interrupt Her Majesty, you useless, pathetic, nobody guardsman! Hey, hmm. now! Oh. So I am still a guardsman. Nice! Enough of this. Guards, lock the doors. They are not leaving until they hand over the Chronometer 3000. Where is... Where is Dr. Beatrice Maverick von Matterhorn? 
Is Doc... Yeah, where is she? Nobody's doing anything with a chronometer until I hear from Dr. B. Unfortunately, the good doctor is indisposed. There was a small mishap at the dig site, and let's just say she fell to her death. <gasps> what? You no. killed Dr. B? Well, she was hanging at the edge of that pit when I left her, so who can say? Well, there was a lad. Your Majesty, are you hearing this? Desdemona, snap out of it! She can't help you now, child. The Athanatos Amulet of Total Mental Sublimation is among the oldest magic in the world, and its spell is not easily broken. <laughs> um... I mean... Benefit of the doubt, maybe he's the mind-controlled one, and she's the evil one. Only the power of true friendship can release the spell's hold. <laughs> true friendship? Lil, help me. Oh. My friend. What? I didn't know you two were friends. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Oh, no. New plan. Give me the chronometer 3000 now or I'll kill you. Um... <laughs> Well, Why do you even want the chronometer anyway? The war is over! Petrard is lost! The sprawl is coming out on top! But at what cost? It's about more than just winning or losing the battles. It's about the lives lost regardless of the outcome. So much wasted life, and for what? With the power of the Chronometer 3000, I can do better. I can assure that this war will never begin in the first place. Nobody has to die. That's not how the Force works. You know what? That actually sounds like the right thing to do. And with more people alive, it means more smaggle slaves to serve <laughs> under my foot as I lead the dark magic users of the Mages Guild to domination and eternal glory. <laughs> <laughs> smaggle. This is the. This is the. This is the um, Sesame Street Muppet Fraggles again. They're back. Smaggles. And that's where you lost me. All I have to do is go back and kill the leader of the Goblin Liberation Army oh. before he can interrupt the wedding ceremony. But the war wasn't started because Desdemona married Chuck. It's because she didn't choose Prince Phineas. Nobody has to die. True, but where's the fun in that? Didn't you just say that your whole plan was to people not I can't not let die? you do this! Hmm. Dad... <laughs> Dad, not the... Not the smug smirk type of conversation. Dad, let's get out of here. But the doors and the guards. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is going to work, but hold my hand. <gasps> but... There it is. The Chronometer 3000. Give it to me! I want it now. Take me serious. Oh. Yeah, let him do it. Did he do it? Oh. What happened? Where am I? The palace. Oh, the wedding. But it's not the same. Desdemona's gonna marry Prater Cargan? And there's that bastard Tyronius, and he's got my chronometer! What is he gonna do? Dude. I now pronounce you married! You may now kiss! Oh my god! <gasps> Dad! No! No, 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 no! Oh! I've been pincushioned with arrows a few times in my day, Ugh, but this time they hit something important. Dad. To think I've lived through a whole war only to die at a wedding. Lil, I'm sorry I failed you. I love you, Lil. <coughs> Did they hit, like, what do you think they hit? Like a bottle of Petrardian fizzy? Oh. Dad, don't do this to me. This can't be happening. Dad, please come back. Hey, look, they had other facial expressions drawn. 
Drat. Even without that infernal goblin interfering, things still escalate. This won't do at all. Oh well, off to another timeline with more favorable variables. But how can he use it? <laughs> oh God, what? Dad, <laughs> you're alive! What? I'm unarrowed? What's going on? Oh. The music. It's like a distorted, slowed down version. It's good. I don't have time to explain. Uh, Duck? I'm sorry. I'm inconveniencing you? Uh, no. I've got no time for another tutorial. <laughs> uh... Just go to the food table, go to the musician. Stay here. Go to Tyronius. Go to the food table. Go get something to eat. <laughs> Whatever you say, kiddo. Select the Edward, the official efficient, if you need to advance to the next timeline. Whoa. Uh. Ah! Uh, what? So far. Wait. We're just doing st time. St oh. oh, hello. Help. Oh, darling, a wedding is a terrible bore without a truly delicious. B My dear, darling, Councilwoman Ash always hides. You know, I know this. What is the plan? Oh, the guy's alive. What's going to happen? <laughs> where, where? Let's, can I say, can I talk to someone? Hey. No. Hey. What can I do? Ouch! What is that? Some kind of force field? I can't get anywhere close to Tyronius while it's up. Maybe there's someone who could help me disable it. You! Can I borrow your glasses? No! <laughs> That's not the conversation we want to have. No. Okay then. Well, peace out. I now pronounce you married. You may now kiss. This won't do. The war is still going to happen. Off to another timeline. Huh. So if dad goes to where he is if dad goes to where the musician is maybe i can get the arrow to go -ching -po -poink. Hmm. i feel like we have to sort of root goldberg some sort What's of going on hey <laughs> oh beverly we don't have time to explain i'm sorry i i've got no Okay, uh, don't stay here. You die. Don't do that. Go to Musician? Why? Go to Tyronius? Why? Go to Tyronius. Okay, try not to get his attention, but go stand by that necromancer. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> Whatever you say, kiddo. I don't know why I'm doing this, but if they're shooting dad, maybe he gets hit instead. Okay. Oh, hey, it's a weird owl. Now I'm just going to decide not to disturb them in their set. Keep your eyes peeled for anyone using the wedding as a pretext to do something suspicious. The um, nothing suspicious here. Oh, the ice has melted. Oh. Hey, bounty hunter. Yes? Give me that blaster. I know you got on ya. Why should I? Please? I'll pay you a lot of gold. Sounds good. Oh. Oh. I have a gun. If you face Tyronius with Hamish, he will be equipped with this weapon. 
if what <laughs> okay we have a laser blaster this hat it is okay my journey it continues monty's has the soup you got it would have been just as well off flushing a ton of gold bars down the toilet if you ask me oh rip I mean, should I just... Ooh, it's, oh, it's only worth 27 bucks? <laughs> okay. Again, despite your humble background... Okay. I now pronounce you married! You may now kiss... Twing! Oh. This won't do. The war so it always is okay. So dad standing back there had nothing to do with nothing. So what has something to do with something? I guess we have to send dad What's to the musician. On? I don't have time to explain. Because if I'm we stay sorry. here, he dies. I'm I've gotten. Go to musician. Okay, go check out the band. Whatever you say, kiddo. What does what does anything do? Dad? Oh. Uh. Okay. Try. Ooh. What? What is going on with the things? Okay, Dad, go back to the mu. Dad. 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 Oh no. Dad. Oh no. I can't access dad no more. Oh, wait. Come on. Please. Dad. Dad, I can't. Dad! I don't have the blaster anymore. What a disaster. Dad? Yeah. I now pronounce... This vote. Huh. Okay, so we do. So it's it's like What's um. What's going on? I don't have to. Babia, 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 babia. Go to the musician. Okay. Whatever you say. So it's like a timeline. Where it's like a Majora's Mask thing. You have to like do everything in the in in the timeline in the order. Oh, but he's not here. Um, okay, so we gotta skip to a timeline where Blaster Disaster is here, and then we have to do something to shoot, to confirm. I don't get it. <laughs> Hello? Particulus, I need your help. You see that necromancer by the altar? I didn't until you pointed them out. How very strange. That's pretty weird, eh? Well, he's protected by a force field. Do you have a spell or something that could help me with that? I know a spell that might work, but I'm not technically licensed to cast it. This is a matter of life and death. Spill it. <sighs> okay, fine. There is a loophole. If the ancient elven hymn Et Fici Pulmentum in Bracus is being performed, my license increases by three levels. Then I'd have no problem casting the spell for you. <laughs> uh huh. Et Fici Pulmentum Maracas. What does the title of that elvish song mean? No one knows. I'll see what I can do. So I have to get the band to perform the Maracas song. Okay. 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 Quit. Oh, I can't. Okay, go to we'll get some. <laughs> Whatever. You Can you sing the song about Maracas? Excuse me, but do you take requests? Uh, would you be able to sing a fitchy pulmentum and Bracas? Ah, a true connoisseur. No problem. Ooh. Hey, 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 hey. 
Do you hear that? Ah, I can feel the prohibitive and arbitrary restrictions placed on my spellcasting fading away. He's leveling up. He's unlocking the skill points. Skadoosh. Oh, but I don't have a gun now. I don't have a weapon. Well, I guess I do have a magic wand. Uh, that? What, uh... Do you, uh... Okay, go... What you Whatever you say, it? kiddo. Uh-oh. Four, three. Run, Lil. One, oh. I now pronounce you married. You may now... This won't do. The war is still going to happen. No. Okay, so we gotta get him dispelled, and then we gotta push him into the way of the arrow somehow. Maybe What's going if. On? I think what we have to do. To I think we have I'm to do this. Sorry. I've gotten. We have to move dad. You go to the musician for now. Okay. You have go to move dad, Whatever and then we say. have to dispel him, and then we have to get the gun, and then we have to put him behind here and confront him with the gun, and then we do something else. And then the arrow shoots him. Hey, bounty! Yes? Give me that! Cleat? It's for- That doesn't do- What if I bribe you? Just wanted to try it out. Give me that! I'll pay- Sounds good. <laughs> okay. So we have the blaster, but now I can't demystify the man, right? Because there's no... There's no magic man. Oh. Um. Hey, can you can you do a spell? Gary, with my you're wand? so good in this timeline. How nice of you to say. Uh, I need your help. See oh. that necromancer by the altar? I didn't until you pointed him out. How? F well, he's protected by a force field. Do you have a spell or something that could? I'm pretty new at this, but I should have something. I just don't have enough mana stored up to cast it. <laughs> but <gasps> this is a matter of life and death. Spill it. Okay, fine. But you didn't hear it from me. The secret ingredient in Monty's soup is narcotics grade pixie dust. That's why everyone around here is so obsessed with it. It's really not all that great. <laughs> okay. And? And narcotics grade pixie dust is a favorite of students at the Mages Guild. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. Go get a bowl of soup. Bring soup to Goblin. Goblin make magic. Magic make good. Soup. Thanks for choosing Monty. Yep, yep. Okay. Soup for Goblin. We only have 70, 16 seconds. I've got it! Boom, boom, And then... Ew. Gross noises. That's some good... Oh, whoops. I guess time doesn't actually move during... During... Talking. Go to Tyronius. Okay. Try not to get his attention, but go stand by that necromancer. Ooh, spooky. Whatever you say, kiddo. Yeah, baby. And then... And then a attack? Kick. Kick his ass, dad. Smack him. Smack him upside yeah, the noggin. Now! <gasps> How's this for being a useless, pathetic nobody? Uh-huh. You continue to annoy me. Lightning! Don't even think about it. Uh-huh. Whoa, Dad. Why, you meddlesome... Now, Lil, get the doohickey. Not before I go back one more time. Wait, <laughs> she's marrying... I didn't even notice until now she's marrying the accountant Squidward guy. No! Come on, push him into the... Push him into the way of the arrow.
Oh. What happened? Did we get Dobbied? Lil. Lil! <laughs> Dad. Such a beautiful place to be with. Dad. Lil is happy. Oh. What? Dad? I just had the strangest... Wait a minute. Where am I? What happened? Do you want the long version or the short version? Don't be cute. I remember we were back in time at the royal wedding. Tyronius had the chronometer. You distracted him and I grabbed for it and... And before I could even blink, we were right back where we started. In the war room with the princess. Except Tyronius wasn't there and you were unconscious. You've been in bed for a week. Whoa. You've been muttering some very strange stuff. A scary tree monster became a mayor? Ridiculous. <laughs> no! Tyronius wasn't there? What happened to him? And the war! And Desdemona! There's someone waiting to see you who might do a better job of filling you in than me. Dr. Beatrice Von Matter. Oh. Hello, Lil. Desdemona? You're being mind controlled by Tyronius. You need to listen to me. It's really me. I'm not under Tyronius' spell anymore. Is this good or not? I'm so... Yeah, she's fine. I'm so... Doubtful. <laughs> You're not wearing his amulet anymore! Did you know that it was allowing him to control your mind? No, I wasn't aware of that when he gave it to me. And that a spell could only be broken by true friendship. And then you started to break free because I was your true friend. So are we like besties now? <laughs> Again, I don't recall any of this. Oh. As far as I remember, he tried to grab the chronometer from you. Then in a flash of light, he was gone. There hasn't been a trace of him or the device since. Oh, he Eggmaned himself. Is there a chance he still has it? Is he back in time right now, messing things up even more? He's stuck on a mushroom planet with Jim Carrey. It's doubtful. From what we understand from Dr. B's notes, once a chronometer has been synced to an individual's life force, it can prove disastrous to anyone else who tries to meddle with it. Oh yeah, maybe he's just scattered... <laughs> His particles are scattered across the universe. So... Dr. B? She's really... Yes. Unfortunately, Whoa. she remains dead. When you reappeared without the chronometer, we lost the ability to go back and fix things, including the terrible things I may have said or done while under his control. Oh, no. Now both ba Dr. Ba Dr. B and my mom remain dead. I'm so sorry. Can you ever forgive me? Never! Of course. Of course I can. You weren't you. I can only imagine what it would have been like to be under that creep spell. Thank you, Lil. Yeah. And can you forgive me, your majesty? For forgetting to tell you how grateful we are? <laughs> allowing me to return to my post and for personally taking such good care of Lil this week? It's like, um... Wait. What was the... There was a game similar to Potionomics. Where you had a shop. <laughs> it's a very vague description. I feel like I'm getting flashbacks to a game that is not Potionomics. Of course, Hamish. But the sprawl is grateful to your daughter, Lil, for all she has sacrificed to save it. But the war! Has it changed? Tyronius said that he was going back to kill Chuck and... Chuck is alive and well, thanks to you. And our forces remain victorious. Since our victory, a number of the mages that were loyal to Tyronius have disappeared into hiding. But a few of the good ones have come forward and revealed that many of their ranks were working against Tyronius in secret. Oh. 
It's very Voldemorty. And with the war won and Tyronius out of the way, they rallied together and declared Echo their new leader. Hey! Hooray! <laughs> well, that's great news. Echo is the best choice for the job. So, what now? What do you mean, what now? Can I, like, keep going infinite mode and just work the, work sh the shift at the thingy? Just for fun? I really wish more games had that. Even games with a story like this, and same with uh, Potionomics, where it's like, it, yeah, the story is technically over, and the, you wrap it up and stuff. Just let me keep working forever. Just for fun. Why not? Even if it start, starts to repeat. Okay, it's just well, nice, do nice you enjoyable need to little mini-game. Well, goblin spy? Work the night shift? Harass any of your advisors? Lil, don't you get it? It's over! You don't have to do any of that anymore. Let the grown-ups do their jobs. Besides, I don't want you to be a guardsman anymore. I'd like you to just be my friend. Ah. That sounds good to me. Join me at the palace once you're feeling up to it. I'll have the kitchen cook up some tacos. Finally! <laughs> at long last. After all this time. Talk about fancy friends. Taco she boat? Nice. Oh, right. Ugh, I'd love to spend the day with you, but I've got a shift down at the guard shed. You can do whatever you want. Chill. Go play. Have that childhood you keep talking about. Or, you know... Join me for another <gasps> shift? Well, one more shift couldn't hurt, could it? Ay! <laughs> Aww. That's us. We're the little guardsmaner. Oh. Without the burden of Tyronis's amulet affecting her judgment, Desdemona became a great, kind, and fair ruler to the sprawl. That wasn't me that said that. Although the city was battered, it would not be broken, and her rule ushered in an unprecedented era of prosperity and innovation. The Queen and her royal consort, Chuck, made the brave choice to undergo couples counselling to work through the fallout from Desdemona's actions <laughs> while under Tyronius' control. Aww. After a long absence from the public eye, the couple was spotted walking in the garden district, holding hands and laughing. Aww. They lived happily ever after? Soon after the Sprawl's victory, the Goblin Liberation Army was officially disbanded. Oh. It wasn't needed anymore. Oh. The Queen promoted a number of its leaders into oh. positions in the City Council and the Guard Corps, and barring a few minor incidents, a more tolerant version of the Sprawl seems to be blossoming. Oh. On the final day of the war, a power-hungry Tyronius used the wicket on his three rival advisers. Thankfully, he was confused by the contraption and accidentally denied them instead of sending them to the dungeon. Uh, <laughs> wait, but it's still just a stamp. Do you have to adhere to the <laughs> to the to the way of the lever? Couldn't you just not follow the rule? If you're already being illegal, um... Ousted, they walked to the nearest tavern outside of the sprawl and began to plot how to overthrow Tyronius and course. save the Queen. It wouldn't be necessary in the end, as Lil did their jobs for them, again. But the act of plotting over drinks really brought the trio together. Oh, so they weren't that bad. Well, I mean, they're not nice, but they weren't necessarily evil. They're mostly just kind of narcissistic and, and stupid. <laughs> Councilwoman Ash's power on the city council waned after the Sprawl's victory. 
As a result of the newly appointed non-human council members, she received a number of reprimands for her outdated and offensive attitudes hey. towards goblins. She has been seen meeting with a number of wealthy and powerful merchant families in recent days, but her full intentions are not yet clear. Hmm. This is a pretty good way as well. In, in terms of doing a game that talks about, you know, inclusivity and different, different strokes and different types of kind of uh, segregation and discrimination without being like blatantly current modern timesy about it. After the war, Lieutenant Stryker tried to relax. She failed. <laughs> Malcolm disappeared, ah, sweet. as did a not insignificant sum from the palace treasury. Ah, oh, not sweet. Meanwhile, rumors out of Fireball Canyon tell of a new circus, the most outrageous and lavish circus the world has ever seen. Ah, sweet. The rumors also tell of its charismatic ringleader and the fish he wears on his belt. Ah, not sweet. I think that might be him. Check the bottom Dr. of his foot Beatrix for balls. Von Matterhorn's body was never recovered. Since her presumed death, Lil has been having the most vivid dreams of Dr. B, traveling through alternate versions of the sprawl. Oh, I don't think she's dead. I think she's lost in the quantum realm, like, like, uh, what's his face? Ant-Man. In these dreams, the lost scientist seems to be trying to tell her something, but Lil can never remember exactly what it is upon waking. Ah, oh, frustrating. She's hanging out in the bookshelf with Matthew McConaughey. Lil and Hamish continue to live above the Twisted Sisters Tavern. They were able to purchase new furniture and a second outfit, thanks to a <laughs> gift from the palace for Lil's role in saving the world. Lil continued to cover for her dad at the guard shed, and he continued placing bets on goblin ball games. Customer surveys indicate that Lil has become somewhat better at the job. Somewhat? Ah. Oh. What oh. about old Echo the Wanderer, you ask? Oh, yeah. Well, that's me! I'll continue to chronicle the happenings of the sprawl, from the migration of the birds to the illegal fish fights down at the docks. <laughs> so remember, when you get a snootful of punch and peace blossom in your nose, I'll be there. A <laughs> snootful? When you overorder pizza at your place of business and people are invited to take some home, I'll be there. Yeah, did Fantastico ever find a hat that was and as when good? And the next calamity threatens the lives of the good people of the sprawl, I'll be there. Uh oh. Ah, oh, little guardsman. That was a very good game. That was a very, very creative. Uh, uh, and and well put together game writing and game design Matt, Scott and Jeremy very well done art direction Rafa very well done cast Fat Al <laughs> wait no is that your real name <laughs> P-H-A-T-T -P -A -T -T. Fat Al <laughs> that's good Creepy face, man. That was very good. Very, very, very well uh, written and voice acted game. I enjoyed that. It's a shame. I really, I haven't seen many people like, I haven't seen this game pop up on YouTube and stuff. I hope it, uh, it gets more attention. 
I, re I want a sequel. I, w I would love a sequel or a DLC of some sort with just more character. More characters and more, more quirky little... Uh, little little hints and winks and references and this is like this is like uh, the Titanfall 2 of indie RPG papers please games <laughs> The the whole uh, the whole thing with Disney Lady that was just like a one off and Buttface that was just like a one off thing. So good. I will definitely get it and play it after seeing it here. It's such a cute game. Yeah, I recommend it. Absolutely. If you can't like afford You're it, still here. Oh yes. If you can't afford it right now, wishlist it uh, and keep it in mind for a sale. Or just wishlist it anyway, because apparently I think that helps in statistics. It's over. Go home. No. Well, I guess you are home. But in case you're not, go. Well, you heard the man. So I wonder then. What happens if I now continue that game? Will. What, Dad? Oh. You want the lo Don't be cute. Oh, it's it just the last day again. There's. Oh. How so I can't. I can't. Uh, there's no infinite. There's no, there's no infinite, just random days at the, at the shop, at the gate. Well, I guess it's fine because you can do level select and you can just play any day over again. But it would have been nice to just have a no, no consequence. Just, you know, make, make a gold, buy some crystals from Garby shop, make some gold, let some people in. But, I mean, I get, it, it would stop making sense after a while, because, you know, you would get Kelly coming back over and over and, and asking for her kids and murder Disney lady coming back and singing again and again. Same song. Good, though. Good game. Good, good job. Very nice. Sweet. Yeah, like an endless mode. I don't think this game uh, sh can get it, though. Potionomics should really have it, and I don't think they ever added it. But anyway, very good. I'm going to say I'm going to I'm going to. Let's put a little. A little review. This game is fantastico. Better than a new hat, I dare say. The writing is very fun and clever, and the amount of creativity crammed into these 15 ish hours is impressive i hope this game gets more recognition now i hope this game gets more I hope this game does well. And 
hey, developers, please make a sequel together with Critical Role and so so that you can you use all of their extended characters for the gate and also no period that would be really fun no okay thanks hugs and kisses there you go um post so we finished the game and I enjoyed it. <laughs> Let's have a pee break. Let's see. It's been two. It's actually been two hours. So that was a pretty good length for finishing up. Let's have a pee and then. Yeah, was that the best ending? I don't know how many how many endings are there? Oh, I got the best ending. It says your choices have led to the best ending. Ah. Oh. Well, now I want to know what the other endings do. Oh. 14 hidden. <gasps> Spooky. Well, anyway. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm definitely playing it again and and trying out like more greedy choices just to see how much money I can get. But um, good job. Good job, team. We made it. Let's have a pee break. And then after pee break. Supermarket simulator. Hmm. I do want to play that. Let's do some supermarket sim. But, uh... We'll pee first. There's a game called Bardic. B Bardic? Can you get your supermarket this big? No. This picture is very misleading. Um, you can't go this big, I don't think. I don't know, actually. But I doubt it. And also, you can't change the color of anything, so you, it's, you're you forced to a wooden floor and yellow walls. So this is false anyway. But maybe one day. I'm hoping that, I mean, it is early access, and they say that customization is coming. So I'm assuming that we can get to this point at some point. Point? Point. Um... Anyway, bar dick. Bar dick quest for love. Quest for love. Quest for love. It's only. Eh? Oh. Oh, this one. Oh, yeah. And then there's this one. I guess this one isn't something you can do so low, though. This one seems fun. It's like a new... It's like the... It's like a... It's like a... Lethal Company clone. <laughs> Although you can't do it solo. I think. Uh, Stepmom Simulator. Milf Scandal. I mean, we could probably play that for a bit. <laughs> No, no, let's, let's, uh, let's get super marky, but let's pee first. See you in, oh, just a little bit. Here, have a, have a break.
get some snacks. Perhaps a carbonated soda. I hope they have ices. I've chosen the large tub. My nipples look like milk duds. I've got some yellow liquid for your popcorn. And it's non-dairy. Just sneakily putting this here.
return. Hey, can you sprain a finger? <laughs> I feel like I've sprained my, my finger. My finger hurts. <laughs> Save me. Uh, I'm just gonna update the game, the games. Super Market Simula. Ah, you know what? Oops, oh, crap. Supermarket Simula. Simulator. Supermarket. Simulate. Simu. No. Sim. Simulate. I did it. I clicked a million things. Huh? Do 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 do. Was some intense tea making. It really was. No, it's been hurting yesterday and all day. Uh, I don't know what I've done though. It's just my middle finger on my right hand. But it's like, I can't like extend it, stretch it fully, and it hurts. Did I flip the bird too hard? <laughs> okay, anyway. Mm, games. We'll keep the music on the background. Let me switch over to a playlist that makes sense. Uh, what about arcade? Oh yeah, this is a nice playlist. Okay, sure. So this is this is this is my shop. You ready? Boom! Look at this. Look at this place! There's three registers? Look at all these shelves! Uh. Hey. Hey, what's this? Guys? Guys, are you just throwing shit on the floor? Guys? Guys, you can't do this. Our musaka's gonna go bad. Uh, at least put it back in the shelf. Gosh. All right. Anyway, um, it's gotten it's gotten pretty it's pretty good, eh? I got I got full wall of freezers and, and fridges back here. I got oh I'm out of turkey. We gotta do a a, a run. Gotta do a grocery run today. Uh, but I have two thousand three hundred buckaroos, so we'll do well. Um. I've been doing some rearranging, and I put- I've been putting the candy right next to where you stand in line. Because that's always what they do. That's always what they do. So that you stand here and you wait for the register and you're like... Oh, fine, I'll grab one. I'm here anyway. Beep, beep, boop, boop. I shouldn't have done that. Every time. For a second, I thought those were passports. <laughs> oh, yeah. The chocolate's down there. These are passports. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. <laughs> they do look like passports. We're selling passports here. We're, we're taking the route of uh, hoping that they don't notice if we don't pretend it's illegal. Now, we just pretend like it's totally normal, and then the police won't even suspect anything. Uh, I've also accidentally bought way too much Turco Cola. So now I have 65 of them. Whoops. And I have none of the other one, because I accidentally bought the wrong sort of cola. Uh, well, hoops. But, uh, we need to do a bunch of shopping. It's a little annoying that you still can or only order 10 things at a time, and that I have no way of taking down notes. But, generally, I start by filling up one shelf at a time. <laughs> So let's just do that. Oh, 
We are gonna run out of money so hard. Okay, what do we need? We need blue, we need dishwasher, and we need green, green, and hand soap. Blue, dishwasher, green, green, hand soap. Blue, dishwasher, green, green, hand soap. Blue, dishwasher, green, green, hand soap. Get two of each. This is my non-edible stuff, and then I have my- the rest is food. <laughs> That's my sorting system. Um, all right, buds, start running around. It's time. And if only you guys could like pick stuff up off of the floor out here, that would be nice. So this is uh, this is kind of my strategy. I let them pick up a thing and let them I let them go handle the restocking inside of the store and then I'm just sort of working on filling these shelves up back here and when all of the shelves have stuff on them that's when we can open the store for the day yeah the 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 update of adding employees that can restock has kind of just changed it so that my job is now restocking the back room instead of the front room. <laughs> but it's okay, because I can do this before time starts. Time doesn't go until I open the store, which is nice. <gasps> Streaking sunburned? So we have like a... A streak fly across the screen. What's this? Oh yeah, green big. Um. Hmm. Okay. We need TP. Damn it! We have one spare TP. Okay, I'll do this then. I'll suck this up. Fill up the box. And then I'll order. Two more. Have him put it. Okay, okay. Look it. I'm ordering. I'm ordering. He's picking that up. He's going to go fill up the thing. But it's not going to be, in, there's not going to be enough space. And while he's doing that, I'm going to fill these two spaces. So he's left with the non, non full one. What is he going to do with it? There's no storage space left. <laughs> Where are you going to put it? You can't. That's not where it goes. Hey. <laughs> no. Okay, fine. What else? Uh, we need bread, red pasta, and bread cake. Okay, red pasta, bread, bread cake, green oil. Bread. Bread cake. Green oil? Green oil, red pasta, and bread. That's good. What else? On this shelf? Uh, chocolates. Uh, passports. <laughs> Couple of passports, please. Two boxes of passports. Very good. Purchase. Chop, chop. Posture man, away! Um, bread. I do like that I don't have to refrigerate things that need refrigeration until they're out of their box. You can put milk here on the floor forever. It only has to go in the fridge in the store. 
Only when the customer can see it. If the customer can't see it, then it can't expire. It's great. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Food and health and safety department? No one called. They want nothing back because nothing's going on. Sir? Sir? Excuse me? I am so glad. They've done very well with collision in this game as well, I have to say. Like, a lot of this stuff feels like you shouldn't be able to get through in most games. But this game is very generous with collisions, so you can just, like, squeeze through the most teensiest of places. Even if you kind of clip through things. Very good. Developer of this game, good job. Because it's kind of annoying when you keep, get, keep getting stuck on everything, but like, eh, eh, eh. Not in this game. The, yeah, the delivery company, yes. I think we get delivery from uh, FedEx, because they kind of just throw the food on the street <laughs> in a pile, which is pretty good. You know, it's efficient. Okay, what else do we need? Is there any sound? Uh, there's no sound setting. I feel like it's so quiet. Can you hear anything? <laughs> All right, what else? Uh, we need, we need candy. We need milk. Candy and milk for that shelf, not too bad. Candy, let's do three candy and two milk. Three candy, two milk. Good, uh, okay, mini milks. I have no idea what this mini milk is. Does anyone know? Look, it says milk six pack, but it goes on a shelf. You don't refrigerate it. What is this unrefrigerated mini milk? Apple juice and co cheap cola. Well, <laughs> apple juice and cheap cola. Apple juice and cheap cola. Apple juice, cheap cola, apple juice. I wish I could order more than 10 things. There you go. That'll do. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's these. That's what they are. It's like a little six pack of plastic bottles and they don't get refrigerated. It's just milk. It just says milk. It's weird. I wish that they would take the box with the least stuff in it. Because when you have boxes left with like two things in it, and then you put, you buy more and you put the box in, the new box goes on top of the empty box, and then they take the new box before they take the empty box or almost empty box and then you get end up with a bunch of almost empty boxes instead of almost full boxes so you have to like take out the almost empty box and put the full box in and then put the empty box back but i feel like they could do that milk Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, yeah milk goes right there just just in a box on the floor. That's where I keep my milk. I don't keep my milk for very long, though. <laughs> ba -do -do -do. And candy. Powdered milk? Powdered milk wouldn't come in a drinking bottle, though, would it? Like in bottles like this? Condensed milk, maybe, but that comes in like a can, no? Um, all right, anyway. Oh, 
all the milk. All the milk are gone. All milk is gone. All right, what else? Um, peanut butter cereal. Peanut butter cereal. Pasta sugar. Peanut butter cereal and pasta sugar. Peanut butter cereal and pasta sugar. Peanut butter cereal and pasta sugar. Cereal, cereal, peanut butter, peanut butter, pasta sugar, 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 pasta. Pa where's my spaghetti? Spaghetti. Pasta spaghetti. Okay, and then what else? Both flour. Oh. Not moussaka. Okay. Two not moussaka, please. <laughs> um, that's moussaka. The other one. Scallop gratin. Yeah, of course. Boom. Yeah, I'm running out of money. Oh! Do -do -do -do. Sugar. Cereal. I need to do a bit of rearranging around here as well, because now I have another cereal, but that's over here. It's all out of whack. Susu! Susu! Ooh, spaghetti. Um, spaghetti. Go grab some spaghetti, bud. Chop, chop. Spaghetti? Spaghetti! Alright, good job. Good job, Spaghetti Man. Here, have some 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 scallop gratin. What is scallop gratin? Boop. Whoa, shit! You stole it <laughs> straight out of my noggin. All right, good job. Spaghetti, peanut butter, spaghetti butter. Good. Um, and then lastly, both flowers and. Turkey and other new cereal. New cereal, new cereal. Oh crap, but then it's all the new stuff. Okay, wait, turkey. No, it's chicken. Chicken, chicken. Do I have veal? Oh, I do. Okay. I need butter. I need fries. I need potato bags. And I need mixed pizza. Oh, this is an expensive life. Um, yeah, okay, I'll take it. Actually, butter... Let's order more potatoes. And more... More potatoes, please. Potatoes? Look at these. This is potatoes. Why are they the size of the world? Go put potatoes on the shelf. Here, have potatoes. Look, those bags. Those ones? That's the potatoes? Two potatoes on a, on a same size as a toilet paper. Potatoes? It's a big ass potatoes. Potato. Mm. Chicken. Chicken. Good chicken. Put some chicken in the thing. There you go. <laughs> oh. Uh. Okay. Go, check it up. No, my stuff! Hey! Now we gotta sell slightly run over street food. Roadkill discount. Um. Pizza. Cereal. Mmm. Honeybee. Honey Cheerios. That sounds good. Stop! I wish the boxes had collision physics, so when a car drove into them, they just like flew, <laughs> went flying all over the place. Uh. Oh. Okay. 
just keep you here for now. So you will be, uh, see, you will be also chicken. And then we have fries, cereal, pizza. Uh, yeah, okay. What are we missing? So the two flowers, the two flowers. Lord of the Rings, the two flowers. And then we're full up. Flower, 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 flower. <laughs> blue flower, blue flower. Red flower, red flower. Yeah, I wish they could be hit by the cars passing by and then just go flying. And you had to go hunt them down. Oh. My butter! Butter. You better butter up. Buttercup. Sweet. <laughs> Flower up. Hey, lady. Wanna play? Catch. <gasps> Ghost lady. Do, 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 do. Don't put it back. Don't put it back. Ha ha. Wait, what? Oh, you were doing butter. Oh, okay. Good. Actually, $500 left for the day? That's not bad at all. Greg? Tom? Uh, are we low on anything? No. We have full. We have full. We have full. Hmm. We could squeeze in more here, but do we need to? Another butter shelf? Another butter shelf could be good. Butter. Uh, what else? Nothing. Nothing. Full up. Full up. Let's get another butter going. Butter, 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 butter. Where'd you put the butter? Butter, 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 butter. Butter. Butter, 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 butter. Just for symmetry's sake, looks better with more butter. Better butter, butter better. Oh. Looks better with butter. So, we don't need a full shelf, I think, for salt and peanut butts. So, that's fine. Uh, the only thing we're missing is one spaghetti pasta. That's good. 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 I think it can sustain a day. We have, we're full on pizzas. These are full. Good, good, good. Make sure we have backups of everything. We don't... We have chicken. We don't have butter. Butter. We're low on weird milk. Low on weird milk and butter. We've got plenty of TP. Oh, this is looking pretty good. Butter, rice, chocolate pick, coffee. Butter, rice, chocolate pick, coffee. Rice? Butter, rice, chocolate pick, and coffee. Rice, chocolate pick, coffee, and butter. Eh, might as well. And butter. There you go. Boom. 319 bucks left. Pretty good. Pretty good. Good start to the day. I've made a rule with myself that I don't purchase and refill the stock during the day because it's more fun to just watch watch the sheeple pay for my over overpriced products I, I mean watch my value uh, customers smiles on their faces when they enjoy my low low prices <sighs> okay good so you ready boys okay you ready boys all the, all the boys already. I feel like we need a diversity quota here. You good boys? All right, lights out. I mean on <laughs> and sign open. Go and work. I like to play pretend security camera. <laughs> It's pretty fun. I'm just gonna drink. Ah, drink some tea. 
I forgot, I forgot my bag in the tea. Now it's gonna be so baggy. Welcome to Metal Gear Camera. Yeah. I'm playing where it's Resident. It's just Resident OG Resident Evil now. Good luck navigating the shelves back there with this camera. Yeah, that's just how it goes. Hold on. There. Can you even hear the sound of the game? I feel like this music is a little too intense. Let me see. Let me just pop over to... You know what? Let's go for this one. There you go. Yeah, we hear little beeps and stuff. Should we partake? Ah, I haven't done this in so long. How's it going, Jim? Jim? Oh. How's it going, Fred? Sorry, Jim. Hey. Me! Oh. Ooh, what big spendings we're doing today. Jesus! <laughs> 5,000 sacks of potatoes. Enjoy, potato party. What else? This isn't more chill. There you go. Hello, crazy hair. I will take your money. Thank you very much. Do, 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 boom, boom, boom. One thing that bothers me uh, in my brain is that this, the buttons on the display on this machine are reversed to the bot buttons on your computer. <laughs> it's just a little confusing. You know, you have like seven eight nine up top and here is one two three up top your computer keyboard starts from here one two blah 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 up to nine but this one is the other way around so you look at this and then you look down and you're like oh, 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 oh. you know thank you no i'm better he doesn't even look you in the eye. I have, I maintain eye contact. Ah. 12. Bye. Look at him go. Ah, see, this is the kind of work you should have, right? You can just go and do it when you feel up to it, and then you can just sort of chill out and just watch people do their thing, sip some tea, listen to some music. Yeah. People get really fancy really early in the day to go shopping, though. Yeah, you're right. A lot of evening dresses and full suits. A lot of presidential candidates. Hey, developer of this game, if you want, I, I can make 3D models for you for free if you just want to put them in the game. <laughs> no, sh no shade. It just, you know, it'd be fun. I could do the lighting. Let's see how we're doing back here. Chickens popular. Two whole raw chickens. Golly, this guy. Guys, we're out of chicken. You doing chicken? Okay, I'll do chicken. That's potato. We're out of chicken! <laughs> no! I have potatoes instead. Potatoes are better than chicken. Potatoes are the chickens of the ground. Oh well. We'll live in a chickenless world for, for today, I guess. I refuse to order things during the day. <laughs> I want to do it. You can do a time lapse. Just record, record from this static angle all day, and then just see everyone mill about. Look at that guy. Look at how much milk he bought. He bought three packs of six of that weird bottled warm milk. 
No judgment, sir. The microphone was on. Awkward. Those, those red-haired people, though, they always flicker. Only them, for some reason. Yeah, muscle memory number for number pads get mixed up. <laughs> Messed up going from pin readers to keyboard. Yeah, right? It's the wrong way around. It's like going from Xbox controller to Nintendo. It's like, oh, A and B um, is B and A now, and X and Y is Y and X. Thanks. Couldn't find chicken. I know. I'm sorry. We close at nine. Oh, I'm getting antsy. I'm getting antsy. Oh, shit. Careful with those potatoes. Hey, guys. Let's go. You like your job here? I like your job here. Hey, fella. Having fun? Having fun. The cashews are really slow, yeah. Um, compared to what you can do, Personally, for yourself, they take 40 years. Someone made a good comment in uh, in the on Steam in the review section or community section or something, and they said that the cashier's speed should level up when your store levels up. Because my store is level 27 now, but they're still moving at the same pace as level 5, you know? Be cool if they just got like Anyway. <laughs> I wanna upgrade my store though. I wanna make it bigger. Um well it's getting kinda moody in here. What 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 uh what am I missing? I'm actually not missing anything in terms of stock. I mean I'm out of some things. But I, I don't lack anything in my general inventory. General inventory? Maybe we should buy a new license. For ice cream. Sir? I'm gonna stand on your food and ride it to victory. Whee! <laughs> Go! Whee! Kind of a jagged ride up here. I wouldn't recommend it. We uh oh. Uh. We uh. It's hard. Balance on the sugar. Oh oh oh. oh. <laughs> I also wish that you could ride cars, but they just slide. You don't stay on them. They just stay under you, or they they just go under you, slide under you. Oh. It's Gred. Go. We. Oh. We done? I don't know if you can end the days when people are still queuing. I prefer to wait. <laughs> oh, three people could get their chicken on. I'm sorry. Milk up, cake down. Milk up. Ooh. 1050. Milk up, cake down. Cake down. Cake. Cake down? Oh. Cake down. Other cake? Other cake has been 420 forever. Literally. You baby day. Sir? Why is this door locked? Why can't I. <laughs> Why can't I go down through that door to my store, Edge? Okay, we'll let them pack up what they can from the current storage, and then we'll see what we need. In the meantime, let's think about expansion. How much is it? Aldi has the most aggressive self-checkouts. If you're not going super fast, they yell at you? Really? Wait, wait why? Actually, I really love the checkouts we have here um, at like my local supermarket. Not many places have it. M most places have self-checkouts here for sure. 
I, I think every place has that. But this place has a thing where you put your bag on... Like, when you, when you go to the self-checkout and you put your bag in the bagging area, it's also a scale, so it senses when you put the correct, like, you scan the correct product and put the correct product in based on the weight of that product. That's pretty good. It, like, mitigates scanning the wrong thing and then putting the wrong thing in the, in the bag. Because that's something that people have been doing on and off to get around uh, self-checkouts. They scan a cheap item and then they put an expensive item in the bag. Uh, so that's pretty good. And also the scanning area itself is just... Uh... Oh, wait. Speaking of... The scanning area itself is like a scales for if you buy... Fruit by the by the kilo or something. It's like, oh, I just put it here and it just knows. You don't have to go to a scale station <laughs> and print out the little label. It's good. It's, it's pretty good. It's nice. The only time the cash, the self checkout, yells at me here, is if I try to purchase uh, like a Red Bull <laughs> or. Something like headache pills or nasal spray. And it yells at you and says, No, you can't do that. What if you're a child? And then you have to get an employee. Okay, anyway. Growth. Section 5. Look, um, you know what? Now that I look at this, I think I take it back. I think you can probably make a store that size if you play long enough. Because you can expand your store 23 times. Only problem is, that costs 160,000. 3,000 is literally the most I've ever had. <laughs> um, the next one is... Uh, the next one is 26. That's all of my money. I think it's better for now to buy a license for something. Something that's expensive. What can we do? Cheese, pasta, bleh. Sugar, tuna, mozzarella. Ice cream. Ice cream, chocolate. Crab sticks, hot sauce, ketchup and mayonnaise, more pizza. That seems good. Oh, it's all of my money again, though. Good grief. I don't make enough money. Um, I guess we could get this one. More eggs, more water, more coffee, more pasta, but ice cream. Hmm. Hello, dinosaur master. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, yeah, energy. Yeah, for energy drinks, you have to be here. You have to be above uh, 15 to buy a Red Bull or something like that, like an energy drink. You have to be above 15 and then you have to be over 18 to buy like ibuprofen, like headache pills or nasal spray or whatever. Or alcohol. <laughs> but only alcohols in bars. If you want to bring your alcohol home, you have to be 20. Should we buy this this one? This doesn't feel like expensive stuff though. I I thought it would be proportionate to the proportional to the cost of the license. So the cheap or the more expensive the license, the more fantastic the price of the product would be. But like this is a twenty-two thousand dollar license, and it's for cat food and dog food. Like, these aren't expensive, expensive things. Why are the licenses so expensive? I thought it would be like gold spoons and, and diamonds, diamond cream and stuff. Hmm. Okay, we'll go one more day and see where we end up. We'll just fill up on what we have. So let's do this again. 
sir. Flower, flower. Flower, flower. Princess tower. Can I put this out, please? Oh, crap. Two pastas? In the garbage! Oh, poor pastas. So, flower, 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 flower. There's one. Wait, what is this? Oh, this is potatoes. It should go there. Um, pasta and flour. <gasps> hey, it's the orca song. The seven seas. Flower, flower, flower. Flower, flower, flower. What was it as well? Flower, 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 and... Oh, pasta. Pasta spaghetti. And then also... Let's go for... Let's go for... Toilet paper! Come on down! It's toilet paper! Go. Whoa! Jeez. I did finish. Yes, I did finish. Or less tail. Uh, spaghetti? Spaghetti. Some of these things take up way too much space. You can only fit two of these boxes and they only have eight per. Meanwhile, the rice is like 3,000 per box and you can fit 6,000 boxes. It's nuts. Flower. Do, 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 flower. 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 Oh, I didn't. I almost forgot about flower. Could you take a red flower, please? Hey, take a red flower. Take a red flower. Take a red... Ugh. Are we full up on red flower? Oh, snap. We're missing two. Excuse me. Oh, man. These are all full. Whoops. I over-ordered. Okay, fine. Uh, you go there. What else? We got toilet paper. We got flour. We got... Salmon. No, we need salmon, potentially. Sushi and sushi. We need su two sushis and cheese. Sushis and cheese. Sushis and cheese. Uh, sushi, 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 sushi. Steak and cheese. And cheese. What else? Steak, I got pasta. Red pasta. Always with the red pasta. Oh yeah, we have to order. I'm, I'm focusing on the ones that are out-out before I focus on fillish, f filling the ones that are almost out. There you go. Red pasta, baby. Red pasta is so popular. I mean, it is penne. How can you go wrong? Penne pasta. Hayden penne, penne pasta. Hey. One steak, though? Can we squeeze in a steak somewhere? Hey. Someone call Dracula. Steak. Oh, we got a lot of steak already. Oh. Steak. Steak. All right. It feels so silly to have a whole box just for one steak. Like, what are we, Amazon? Uh, sushi? Yeah, let's just store our sushi in boxes, unrefrigerated, for days and days. <laughs> I mean, we gotta give Chubby Emu something to get make videos about. AT presenting to the emergency room with... Sushi tummy. Uh, there. Sweet. We 
It looks weird. Why is there an empty slot? Uh, are we full up on... We have one weird milk. Oh, hello. One weird milk and no chicken. One butter. Oh, come on. We can squeeze a butter in. Come on. Damn it. All right, butter. Rip. Um, let's order some chicken and some butter then. And some... Ugh, one? Anything that I have one of, I'm gonna try to fit in, and if I can't, I'll just throw it out. Oh, okay, fine. Chuck! Okay, so, we need... Uh, orange juice... Orange juice... Orange juice... Green cleaner... Orange juice, green cleaner... Orange juice, green cleaner... Orange juice, green cleaner... Chicken butter. Orange juice, green cleaner, chicken butter. Orange juice, green cleaner, chicken butter. Green cleaner. Orange juice, green cleaner, chicken butter. Butter, chicken. And why not some milk? Bing, 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 bing. Parchas. My, my parchas. It continues. So wasteful. I know. <laughs> I don't even sort it. It all just goes in the public bin. We, we don't even have a specific, like, bin for our store. We just chuck it in the street one for the city to deal with. Whee! Watch out! Uh, chicken. As we all know, we like to store our chicken at room temperature. On top of vegetables. Gordon Ramsay. If you want some tips and tricks, call me. And uh, I think we'll be good. All right, are we good? We actually have over a thousand still, and we are probably good for a full day. This is this is unprecedented. We're gonna be able to like buy the world. Still can't figure out how to paint our store anything other than pea soup yellow. Um, but you know, we'll get there. <laughs> All right, what else? Musaka is low, salmon is low. Cereals are low. Uh, oh, oil is low. Oil, dishwasher, tablets. Blue flower? Hey, do they just put stuff wherever when there's no space? You can't do that. That's not for blue flower, that's for TP. By the world. Um, okay, wait, what do I need? Chicken, salmon, musaka, chicken, salmon, musaka, cereal, and yellow oil. Chicken, salmon, musaka, cereal, and yellow oil. Chicken, salmon, musaka, cereal, and yellow oil. Dishwasher tablets. Cereal, yellow oil, cereal. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. My money! Thank you. <laughs> I like that these guys just, they just stand here and look, stand here and stare at me. They don't like go into some, some, some employee room. They just stand here and just, yeah, that's our food. All right. Chicken. What else? Clean dish. Oh, I see. Because it cleans your dish. Smart. Clean dish. Clean dish! Yeah, <laughs> just goofing. Um, there. There. 
Salmon. Ella. Ella. Eh. Eh. You can get salmon. Ella. 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 <laughs> eh. Eh. You could get salmonella. And open. Oh crap. I forgot to check if there was like different prizes for some things today. Do they say anything at the start of the day about like, oh, this one is up and this one is down? Uh, 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 uh. What if I'm losing a billion dollars every second? Please. No. Not like this. What about my veal? What about my steak? What about my chicken? What about my brunch fries? Ah, I'm sure it'll be fine. So. What about my weird milk? Or my candy? Or my passports? My legal passports? Now we're good. Do, 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 do. Just the cake? Oh, it might have been. Nah, I'll be fine. We're actually doing really good. I think this is the most money I've ever had at the start of the day. Yep. We actually did change our prices almost daily when I worked at the campus supermarket. Daily? We'd get a little email each morning and have to take out a little price tag gun. Go run and slab stickers. Daily? Why? <laughs> I could I could maybe understand for a campus store maybe weekly because if they like, if they have to like really be sticklers about it, I would say monthly. I would assume that they could be a new change. Weekly, I would say, would be excessive. Monthly, I would still say would be, like, ugh, annoying, but I could get it. Weekly. Plan better. Daily? That's nuts. I don't think I've ever... I'm trying to think, when I when I went to school, you know, back, back in my day, about 17, 17 to 66 years ago, I, uh, I don't think we ever had, like, an on-school, like, an at-school store of any kind. I can't remember ever paying, like, for food at, at school. So I don't know if we had any kind of price changes or in-store policies like that. Like, we, we, we would have to go to, like, just the, the local supermarket or corner store corner corner shop 7-eleven ish small town 7-eleven ish the only the only food that you'd get at school was like the normal food the normal lunch school lunch for the day but we didn't have a little shop it feels like it's like more of a other country schools kinds of things or maybe just bigger schools maybe our school my school wasn't big enough for it big schools and prisons they have the little tiny shop but that's also kind of I guess because we don't like you don't pay for your school food here so like the lunch is not something that we pay for and then they had like vending machines if you wanted like a snack so you couldn't buy you couldn't like go and buy like a a pizza or something what's going on <laughs> oh you no, we're just making money I've made a thousand dollars so far today, and it's only 4 p.m. It's pretty good. Maybe I should start my own little store. What do you think? Huh? What do you think? What do you think? Leave for so I can talk to you without the others listening. 
Um, should we get... I feel like we should get more... More freezers. If I'm gonna do ice cream and another pizza, this is not gonna be enough. I need another freezer, and they're 350, I think. Like, we're gonna be... We're gonna be in the hole. I wanna unlock this door. Let me in! Buy an axe. Also, I saw in this in the shop in the computer that it, at level you, you to unlock the biggest store you need to be level ninety. I'm level twenty seven. I thought I was like done. <laughs> oh, oh jeepers! Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, I've stuck in myself. Oh no, I'm good. Do, 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 do. I'm assuming some of that will be uh, rebalanced for the for the full release and stuff, maybe, or like there would be other things to also do. I like I like that though. I like that it just you know you can just keep going. It's almost like an endless mode. Couldn't find potato bag. Are we out of potato bags? Oh crap, we are. They've eaten all of our potato bags. Man, these people are so hungry for potatoes. We're closing early today. Now. Oh, you were lucky. Okay, I'll I'll join in. Do do, do boom ba dum boom. Come to me. Come to me. I wish they could like swap registers when they're already in the queue. They can't do that. It's it's against the law in this country. Don't make creepy eye contact between each product. Come to me. Come to me. I don't come to me. Yeah. Oh, hey. <gasps> Greetings, sir. Enjoy your weird milk. It's really weird. Yeah, it, it's like the toilet paper. They buy like three of those huge thingies. Like, I, I'm gonna need a whole shelf just for potatoes. Potatoes. Yeah, we're gonna have to rearrange some stuff tomorrow. Make one of these. A potato shelf. Gosh. Okay, uh, well, that'll work. We have some shelf space left. We're not, like, running low. It's just it's just awkward to rearrange stuff because you need to have the correct boxes to put things away. And then you have to compete with these fellas so that they don't start restocking while you're moving things around. These freaking silver surfers. Okay. Oh yeah, I have spare shelves. I just want to keep things together. Like, I don't want to have, like, some potato bags here and some potato bags here. They should all be on the same shelf. Like, like the TP. So we'll have TP and then PT. To toilet paper. Potato. T PP. Potato package. Potato pouch. Come get our fancy big peepees. <laughs> big peepees only. Good night. Dang, that's good. That's good profits though. Oh shit. Milk down. Cleaner. Milk cleaner. Rice salt. Milk cleaner. Rice salt. Milk cleaner. Rice salt. Milk. Cleaner, rice, salt, milk, cleaner, rice, salt, milk, cleaner, rice, salt, milk, cleaner, rice, salt, rice, salt, eh, rice, salt. Whoa, oh, uh, what? A whole buckaroo? Fine. Milk, cleaner, rice, salt, paper, snow, a ghost! Okay. Well, while they're doing their slow 
journey across the nation to put stuff in their correct station. Let's think about what we want, want to buy next. Uh, and let's pay our bills. Ugh. Blech. 3,000 bucks. Right. What can we do with that? Uh, no, no. Management, bills, licenses. We could purchase the crab stick, hot sauce, ice cream, chocolate, ketchup, mayonnaise, pizza, cheddar license. Oh, we should, shouldn't we? I'm gonna say yes. Oh! Oh, my money. Ouch. Right, so. Now we need freezer, shelf, 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 freezer, freezer. Okay, that's perfect. Shelf and freezer. So if we just buy one more freezer, we'll have enough space. Problem is, one more freezer is all of our remaining money. Hmm. Hum. Where's our pizzas? Pizza. Hmm. <laughs> pizza. Okay. Uh, at least we can put something there, but we cannot actually get all of our stuff. Pizza. So, let's go for ice cream. Oh, but the other pizza is in the same. It would make the most sense to have pizza and pizza next to each other. But maybe since we already have pizza, we can get ice cream instead. Ooh, I'd rather sell ice cream than pizza, to be fair. Okay, we'll get two ice creams, catsup, mayonnaise, hot sauce, and frickin' potato bags, <laughs> and chicken. And there goes our money! Ah! Oh. My money. Stupid potato bags. Ice cream pizza. Actually, that sounds really good. Ice cream pizza, I would totally eat ice cream pizza. Okay. Uh, technically, I could take a loan, I suppose. I haven't actually been taking loans. I could take a loan and just buy all of the new stuff. <laughs> but then I'd have a loan to pay off. That's like the worst. Okay. Where do I put my potato? Maybe back here. What would make sense? There's candy and cake. What, what else could go there? Mayonnaise? Let's see, hot sauce. What's this? Oh, ice cream. I'm just thinking ice cream pizza, it would be like... You would have to have it separately though. You couldn't get ice cream on your pizza, that wouldn't work. But if you have it separately, then it'd be like ice cream with your french fries. That'd just be a tasty tasty treat for the whole family. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, let's store our ice cream on this shelf in this warm room for now and then we'll see what what comes after oh oh That's a lot of ice cream damn ice cream ice cream 36 more ice creams i mean ice cream i don't know about you cream okay what goes we technically we don't need to have candy there because we have candy there and candy there there's a lot of candy places maybe we should just remove this candy yeah let's do that excuse me excuse me if only i could carry it in my fingers i need a candy box this is also by the way coming in an update 
is uh, the ability to move products. It was on the list of like planned updates. Finally. <laughs> They're there, they're there. Do the boxes say international delivery? Oh, snap, you're right. We're getting all of our stuff. Oh, that's why it's so hard to make money. We're, we're getting everything imported. Everything is from different places. Damn, living fancy lives. Excuse me, excuse me. Um, all right, so what, what would make sense here? I think... Moving peanut butter. This is like cereal and sugar and stuff. Um, <laughs> what's the intense thinking music? I like the pastas. These doesn't that this doesn't make sense to have here. Shampoo with this stuff. The shampoo should move. To like cleaning stuff, but that's here, and this is full. Mm. Shampoo. Yeah, we do want a condiments area. I was thinking like, if we moved, if we moved the shampoo, we could have one with each of mustard and ketchup. And then like mayo here or something. I don't know. Hmm. Still need something to ship a box worth of box worth? A box worth of candy in. Let's put our hot sauce. Oh, it's hot sauce. Let's put our hot sauce here. We'll put it here for now. And Mmm, hot candy. Okay, now we can put this away. Because otherwise they'll start stacking it and I have to compete with them and try to get to the shelves before they start stacking them again. Candy. Candy. Okay. Uh, mayo can go... I mean, we could do this. I don't know if we need a full double shelf for both. But it would make sense to have that together with salt and peanut butter and that sort of stuff. Oh. Okay, well. It'll do. It'll do. Should we have double ketchup? I feel like ketchup is the most likely to go fast. Supersonic ketchup. Hmm. I'm so glad time doesn't move. Okay, let's... Um, damn it. We have to squeeze a whole stack of potatoes in somewhere. Where would you even put potatoes in this mess? Maybe we should move the cookies and cakes these ones to here and here. I feel like that fits more with the snacking area. And then this can be like breakfast area. <laughs> Cookies and cakes boxes. Oh crap. Where do they come in? Do I have any of those boxes? Egg boxes. With my cookies and damn it. I think they just come in like these kinds of boxes. Oh crap. I need to fit some coffee in somewhere. Let's put some coffee here temporarily. Don't go stuck. Okay, we don't have any more coffee, so they're not gonna. Otherwise, they're gonna start putting coffee there. I wish you could pause them. Okay, let's do that. Let's move you. Tricky. Now I see. Now I see why when you go to the store, it always feels like they're always busy with moving things around and putting stuff in new places for no reason. It seems like it's mostly just to confuse the customers and lead you on a wild goose chase for the thing that you knew was here before but is now in another spot. 
but here I am doing the same. Just rearranging stuff for no reason. I get it now. I get it. There, there, there. And then we can slurp those bad boys up again. There. Okay. So now we have a designated area for snacky type stuff. I'm assuming this is like a snacky type milk. <laughs> like, a, like a milk, a weird milk drink for snacky purposes. Uh, but now we have that. Now we can do... I can move those up and we can have at least two shelves with potatoes. Better than nothing. Man, we're gonna be out of stuff. I have no money left for anything. And we are so out of everything. Uh-oh. Yeah, this seems nice. This seems smart. Putting the most heaviest and most biggest things most up. <laughs> if they fall, it'll make for a fun little squish. All the colors of this... Well, the red to less red spectrum. Okay. Let's, let's open the store up. And uh, deal with the consequences of failure. Go. Boop, 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 oh. Boop, boop, boop. Huh. Everything in this store is international import, so everything is worth more than you're paying. Feel free to leave a 60 to 200 percent tip. Thank you. If you use my code in the checkout counter my creator code you uh, put uh, mention it to the cashier at the end of your transaction oh shit I forgot to set prices mention mention my code at the checkout counter and they will give you a 12% increase in cost we are very out of toilet paper, I just noticed. Pandemic simulator? My three left. Jeez, people loves, love toilet paper. That's like people's favorite thing. I gotta go buy some more toilet paper. Toilet paper? Uh, I'm breaking my own rule of buying things during the day, but... The people need it. <laughs> it's so intense, yeah. The music, we gotta get our toilet paper. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a crisis, crisis alert. Come on. $96, spend $96. To hell with taxes. I'm gonna spend the exact amount that I make and I'm not gonna pay anything back. Dang it, it wasn't enough. Help us. Give us back. Give us back your paper. Papers, please. Toilet papers, please. <gasps> I have one dollar left. Toilet paper. Hand delivered. Aha! Phew! We're still out. We still don't have enough to stock. Jeez. See, I told you. People really love their toilet paper. They just can't get enough. Bunch of stinky, stinky booties all over. Look at them. You know, buy some more toilet paper, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Don't buy toilet paper. I actually do. I mean, do buy it, but pay more. Limit? Oh, that would be a fun little implementation. 
one per customer limitations. I mean, I say fun, but I'm selling a product without setting its price. Am I? Well, I set all of the prices. What else did I get today? What? What did I get? What else did I? <gasps> Ice cream! Ice cream, four fifty. Gosh, people are just picking up free ice cream. Ah, that's fine. Free ice cream is pretty good. I have six hundred and sixty-six dollars rounded off. No one buy anything. Dow, oh, you ruined it. This guy, you ruined my six six six. You, get out of here. Go home and repair your vest. Ugh. Anyway. Uh, how's the storage looking? Ugh. Spar arse. I'll help out. Whoa. Let's see. We can put one of those there. I did it. <laughs> I helped. I put one bottle of Fizz. Whoa. One bottle of pop. Place your garbage at my feet. Oh. Couldn't find cheesy pizza. Yeah, we don't... We don't sell that. That's the problem, right? Anytime you buy a license, if you don't stock everything on that license the next day, then people will be complaining. I now have the license to sell cheese pizza, but I never ordered any for the store. I feel like they should only complain about things not being available if it's like this. It's, it's here, but it's zero on the shelf. If there isn't even a label, I feel like they shouldn't be allowed to complain about it. Place it at my feet. Thank you, servant. Be gone! Place it. Thank you. I grow taller. I am this tree. I recycle it with my toes. Pegasus! Welcome back! Thank you for the 18 billion dollars. Oh, and also Karen from before for the 71, 71 months resub. That is banana bonkers. Jeez, so long, so many. We're growing up. <gasps> We're doing it, Peter. Store is closed. Betting is closed. Hey, what's up? What are you gonna buy today? Did you buy ice cream? It looks pretty good, doesn't it? Hey, what you got? Oh, ah. Mayonnaise? You couldn't find the mayonnaise. Neither can these people. Uh oh. <laughs> well, uh. What happens if I finish the day now, you know? There's people still in line. Do I have to wait them out? I probably should. I will. Maybe when there's one left, we can see. Okay. So we have 1940. And now we have... 1940. Okay, so the guy... Oh, no. The guy... The guy that was about to pay. Oh, his stuff is still here. But he's gone. And he didn't pay. Oh. I hope that guy isn't broken now. That cashier guy. 
15 buckos. I was too distracted to remember what prices. 250, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. That's, oh hey, 666. Six, six. That's fine. 420, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. If only I had some sort of computerized system in which I could get an overview of the prices and the market prices. Right, bud? Yeah, you know. Um, okay, so we need to go shopping for stuff, basically for everything today. Today's a big shopping day. Pew. Okay. Let's get physical. Physical. Let's get physical. Let's get physical. All right, what do we need? Green oil. Cakes. Red pasta again and bread. Green oil, red pasta, both cakes. Past red pasta. Green oil and bread. One, 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 one. Purchase! My purchase. It continues. Pasta. <laughs> it didn't sound very... Let's get ready to... Actually, I don't think we're allowed to say that. That dude owns that phrase. Oh, crap. That dude owns the phrase, let's get ready to rumble. And you have to, like, buy a license to say it. <laughs> Literally. Like, if you want to put that in a game, you have to buy a license. Do, 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 do. It's nice. Oh, excuse me. I do know I phase right through them, but it's nice to be polite. Step out of the way. Boo -doo -doo, boo -doo -doo. Let's get ready to shopping. <laughs> Let's get ready to breakfast. Cake. Oh, breakfast cake best cake all right green oil and ham what else do we miss blue cleaning and then TP and hand soap blue cleaning TP hand soap blue cleaning TP hand soap blue cleaning TP hand soap right what else sprite Sprite, 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 sprite. I get two sprites. Okay. Yeah, that's great. It's great that they just throw our carbonated soda out on the street like that. Wait, didn't I buy some? Oh yeah, here it is. Z soda, my carbonated soda. And my blue soda, I mean, cleaning fluid. Okay. I know that it would kind of take away a little bit of like, what am I supposed to do if everything is automated? It would still be fun to be able to automate as much as possible though it would be enjoyable if they could also carry stuff off of the street and into the storage just like with the store if they see a label they put it there so that i can just focus on managing and ordering and decorating and upkeep anyway is there anything here that we're like out out of Yes, chicken, potatoes. Oh, a lot of stuff. 
chicken and potatoes for sure. Potatoes, chicken, potatoes, chicken, potatoes, chicken, potatoes, chicken, this one, that one, this one, that one. No, no. Oh, crap. I can't be selling crab sticks. Do you want to buy some crab sticks? You don't want to sell any crab sticks. Catch! Woo! No. They never want to play. Let's see. So, uh, chicken, good. Chicken, good. Okay, the chicken man is coming. Potato, good. I really hope that the update for cosmetics is next, because I could I could do with another color for my walls. I don't want to be like a stickler about it, but it'd be nice with another color other than pea soup. Right. Do I have space for this stuff? Not really. Oh, I didn't think this through. Where do I store hot sauce? I guess we don't have enough. We don't have space for two st chicken stacks. We're just gonna have to deal with it. It would be nice as well. This game could could do well with Twitch integration so that you could come and shop at my store with your usernames. Mm. Want weird uniforms for the slaves? Employ I mean employees? Yeah. That'd be yeah, yeah, yeah. A bunch of cosmetics for the employees. Put little funny hats on them. So much you can do. So much, so much stuff to be done. And so little time. I guess mayonnaise can go on the non-edible shelf. That makes sense. Um, good. Cha -cha -cha -cha. Okay. Hi, they. We cannot afford to restock everything, I think. So we might have to. Oh, one of these, really? If there's two open slots on the shelf, yeah, they don't refill it unless there's more than two. So sometimes you can squeeze an extra in. And I did that. Yeah, like in Playtop. Exactly. And you can just pop by. And then you can, like, click certain things to order certain things. That would require, like, a whole overlay, though. But that'd be fun. All right, more potatoes, french fries, cereal. Potato, french fries, cereal. Potato, french fries, cereal. French fries, potato, cereal. Uh, yeah, two, two, one. Two, two, one, two, two, one, two, two, one. Two, two, one. Perchas. Should we get another freezer then so that we can stick some stuff some more pizza and stuff in there. Otherwise, they're gonna be peed owed that we ad are advertising that we're selling cheese cheese pizza and they're not gonna be able to find it and then they're gonna cancel us. Yes, soggy French fries that's been out. Mmm. <laughs> just be mush. Okay, that is good. That is good. We are still out out of TP and green clean, and both cereal and coffee and oh, Ugh. okay. What? Both cereals, peanut butter, coffee. Both cereals, peanut butter and coffee. Both cereals. Coffee, peanut butter. Good grief. We're gonna be 
Poor. Big sushi. Oh, bread as well. Bread as well. Bread, 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 bread. 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 Water. Purchase. Loan time? Oh. But. Oh, wait. Not bread. Because we... Because I accidentally... Water. Too much bread. Maybe we should get a loan and like really... Or really splurge. Should we, get, should we do that? Yeah. Oh, crap. I keep thinking the symbol is above... Uh. Copy. We could splurge. We could just really go for it. And upgrade the store and stuff. With a loan? Yeah, let's do it. Do do do. Buy another freezer. Maybe another shelf. Mm -mm. Where is it even gonna upgrade to? I feel like the store needs to be deeper. Oh. Like it's filling up this whole space now. Where else can it go? This one. Yeah. <laughs> what happens if you don't pay your bills back on, or your loans back on time? Do the mafia show up? Drive through, or drive through, drive by, I mean. Eggs, cheese, and yogurt, and big sushi. Eggs, cheese, yogurt, and big sushi. Cheese, eggs, Eggs, cheese, yon, hurt, and big sushi. Uh, big sushi. And I am poor. <laughs> mafia drive through? Yeah, they just. A mafia drive through, they just drive. They don't, they don't drive to pick up the food. They just drive through. They place their order for how many people they want to shoot. And then they drive up to the next window. And then they just shoot in through the window with their Tommy guns. And then they drive drive away. That's a mafia drive through. Hello, I would, I would like to shoot uh, 10 uh, Slim Jims and one Billy Bob uh, Big Mouth. And then they... They place their order and they pow pow pow. It's a good time. Eggs. And then eggs. Don't take my eggs. I just put them there. Dude, get your own. Order your own eggs. Mm. One cheese. What a waste. One cheese! Okay. Cheese. Actually, this is looking pretty decent. There's no empty spaces. There's no empty spaces anywhere. Hey! Adventure and adventure waiting just for me. <laughs> Something like that. A pinstripe suit and Tommy guns? Yeah, for sure. 50s Italian mobsters in New York? That's what the Mafia is. Hmm. We actually have stuff. Okay, you know what? Let's do it. Let's get a loan and let's buy a freezer. Uh, loan. Let's get a- Whoa, what? These loans are so dinky. Oh, daily payment, 100, oh, okay. Uh, I'll, I'd like a daily payment of 150 bucks, 0.02 percent interest. Mm. Mm. Return payment, ugh. I 
want to have too much of a return payment. Fine. 10 days, 240 a day. Easy. We can do that. We pull in like 2,000 a day, so that shouldn't be an issue. Go for it. Skadoosh. Do, do, do. Okay. Let's buy stuff. Market. Furniture. I want to buy a freezer. Thank you very much. And I would like to buy a another shelf for my storage. Purchase. My purchase. It continues. Okay. Um, where could you go? Ugh. Ooh. Yikes. Grr. Time. Yeesh. Um, well. <laughs> this is a little uh I mean I guess it's not the greatest I guess that works it's a little awkward but it'll do okay so the other yeah this game needs mods well it needs actually it, it's really good for early access so far um but it would be cool with mods and stuff for sure boring let's do this du -du -du -du. much more interesting eh also low shelves would be nice little like cap offs here or here with, like, a display of product. Uh, okay, so we have those two bits. Hmm. That looks kind of silly. Maybe it is better to just leave them like this. Just looks bland. <laughs> this looks like the back of them. No, that'll do. Um, so what are we missing? We're missing cheese and we're missing something else. Cheese and something. Cheese and... Cheese and... Crab sticks. That was it. Crab sticks and cheese. Cheesy peas. Cheesy peas. Mmm. A nice cheesy peas. <laughs> Who doesn't want to take... Who doesn't want to grab a nice... Who doesn't want to have a nice cheesy piz? Alright, what else? Uh, catsup, I guess. We could order. Get some catsup in here. Get some... Hope this man comes back for his bag. More potatoes. Should catsup? Let's do let's do one. Let's do two catsups. Let's do one more of those. Uh, one more of those. One more of those. One more of those. One more of those, and one more of something. Veal. Veal. Cruella de Veal. Okay, great. Now at least we have a bunch of stuff. To sell today and I actually I think we don't we're not missing any products so people shouldn't be too pedoed I don't know what the punishment is for missing products too much but get out of here chicken get chicken okay <laughs> uh, chicken no you're chicken too Stupid chicken. I need the potatoes. Potatoes, potatoes, chick, chicken, chicken, chicken. Okay, great. Smith. Yeah, veal. Yeah, I've only tried veal once. Uh, and I didn't really care for it. I, it didn't feel motivated. 
I don't know, maybe it's just... Maybe it's just the knowledge. <laughs> it's too sad. It taints the flavor. Oh yeah, so I want to put... I want to put the ice cream... Okay, let's move the pizza. Move the pizza here. Wait, can I... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Can I suck up... Yes! There. <gasps> Look at the brand for the pizza! I knew it! No, 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 no. Dude, I was moving that. Don't throw away the box. I need it. Oh, man. I, I was going to put... Whatever. <laughs> Stupid guy. I mean, he's only doing his job, but... I wish there was, like, a pause button on y'all. How do I move that stuff now? Can I put it in this? No, it's that. It's a big square box. Big square, like this. Pizza! No, that's where... <laughs> Give me my ice cream back. Where did you stick it? Uh, there. This guy. <laughs> He's too eager. Don't. Uh, no, not that one. The pizza goes here. Krusty. Krusty peas. Krusty peas. Pizza De Niro. <laughs> it's the mafia. Pizza De Niro. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Pizza De Niro. Check. Krusty peas. Check. Those two. Check. Now we can put the ice cream cones back in this hot, hot storage. Great. Crusty. <laughs> That's just how they say crusty in, in, in France. Crusty peas. Um, where do I stick my crusty peas? I guess I'll just stick it here. Crusty peas. More crusty peas. What else? Uh, is it all oh, fries? Some fries. Let's do this actually. Put this one there, this one there. So mysterious. And then that one, and then we have the hot sauce. Oh, mayo! Mayo! Nope. We need mayo. I need my ayo. They like come and me want a mayo. May. It's a may. It's a may. It's a mayo. Mayo. I need rice. They like come and me want a mayo. I do like that. Yeah, the organizing and the sorting is very satisfying. In games. Sadly, I do not like it, Sam I am, in real life. I wish I did, because then my apartment would probably be a lot nicer, but... Alas. Let's move this here. I want to put them together. Forever. Sure. Uh, TP... Okay, TP Big Clean. TP... TP Big Clean. TP Big Clean and Rice. TP Big Clean Rice. TP Big Clean and Rice. It's the only stuff we miss. TP Big Clean and Rice. TP Big Clean and Rice. Nice. Do 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 do
Ha! <sighs> what a day day. Okay, great. I like it I, I like it a lot in games to do this type of organization. Same in like, you know, organizing your lockers in Subnautica, making a little storage facility for yourself where everything is organized and in order. I just wish I liked doing it in real life as well, so that my apartment could be neat and clean and organized. Just, you know, by me living normally. Instead of having to do a very conscious effort and a constant struggle to clean. <laughs> yeah, it takes too much physical effort. If I could clean my apartment like this, with a mouse and keyboard, by sitting at my desk, I would totally do it. Just too lazy, you know? There. I'm too lazy to do it myself, and I'm too cheap and too embarrassed to hire someone to do it. So it just doesn't get done. Gets done? Doesn't get done. Mm. Ugh, but I have two left. Eh? Fine. Two left. Fine. Two left. Fine. Uh, what else? What else are we lacking in the store today? We have one apple. One apple juice. <gasps> oh. oh, crap. <laughs> one juice! Now we need to buy more apple juice. Uh, market products. Apple juice, apple juice, apple juice, apple juice. Apple juice, apple juice. Apple juice, apple juice. Apple juice, apple juice, where are you? What are you? Nice. Apple juice and then milk. Milk, milk. Two milk. Two apple juice. No cola. No cola. Two apple juice. Dishwasher. <laughs> dishwasher tablets. Apple juice, milk, dishwasher tablets. Oh no! Okay, just the one milk. Oh no! Okay, just the one apple juice. Oh no! Okay, just the both of them and no dishwasher? Oh yeah. Okay. You take this, you take this, and I throw this there, and then I go this. Boop. Boop. Hi, hi. Whoa! <laughs> it landed on the. Look! It's balanced on the saddle. Very good, me. Thank you. Skadoosh. Okay, now. And now, the tale continues. Oh crap, the pizza. Hide the pizza. Hide it. Someone might see. Where did I put my pizza? Ah, oh, my pizza. And surveillance camera mode, go. Bzzz. What are you gonna do with that bag? That's the old man's stuff in there. From the other day. I'm gonna I'm gonna freak someone out. Whoosh. Is is that camera following me? I better stop and move and listen if the motor still makes sounds. <gasps> I'm selling a product without its price! Oi! What am I selling now? Oh, right. The crab. 9.50. And the pizza. Don't buy my pizzas for free! There you go. 
Jeez, were they buying them all for free just then? Oof. That one's on me. I'll, t I'll take that one out of my paycheck. Eesh. Whoops. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is bad. What do you got there, bud? Potatoes? Dude, we're fine. We're full up on potatoes. He's gonna be stuck here until I restart the game now, or reload the the, the store, the save. Dude, uh, wait, I can maybe fix it. Give me a box of potatoes. If I can put potatoes, uh, if I can get him to somehow, okay, I need to put my potatoes. I need to, uh, I need to. I can't put potatoes anywhere because my box is full of potatoes. I can't. I need an empty box to put my potatoes in. Maybe I can use this one. Yes. Okay, okay. If I can suck up the potatoes so that he gets to put down his potatoes. Okay, no potatoes. No potatoes. You good? Damn. That wasn't it. It might be the... One of these ones. Okay, hot sauce. What about hot sauce? Maybe it's the hot sauce fault. Let's take up all the hot sauce. How about now? Stupid guy! Maybe it's the ketchup. Where's my ketchup? I have to spring him. But no, this someone is full of ketchup. I need ketchup with less ketchup. That one's full of ketchup too. Okay. I'm, I'm coming, guy. Don't worry about it. I'll fix you right up. Boom. Hey! He thought the ketchup was potatoes. That's what his. That's what what, what was his mistake. He thought the ketchup was potatoes. Silly fella. Ketchup's not potatoes. Potatoes, potatoes. He's back. Now I give up. <laughs> Screw you, you can be stuck there for the rest of the day. He's trying to put potatoes where there's supposed to be ketchup. I should have just put potatoes there so that he would think it was supposed to be ketchup or potatoes. So that he could put his potatoes down. But now he's going to be stuck putting potatoes in places. They're not supposed to be. Until he gets to put down his potatoes. Maybe I can. Maybe I can salt. Okay. Damn it. We're stuck in potato. We're stuck. No, the music. No, the potatoes. <laughs> they no, now they're just taking potatoes from from in front of his face as well. Dude, watch out, the potatoes are Oh, oh. That's too potato. Potatoes! Why? Why is potatoes so hard to figure out? I needed something that I can put potato or uh, ketchup in. I can put ketchup in... Oh, I can put ketchup in this oil. Oil. Oh, crap. Could you grab an oil, please? Take an oil. I have to put this oil somewhere. Could you take an oil? No, take a yellow oil. I need to put this oil away. Could you take this oil? Sir, I need, I need to be able to pick up these ketchups. Could you take an oil? No, take the oil. No, can someone take this oil? Someone please buy an oil. Please buy my oil. Please, please sir. Please sir, take an oil. Oh man, I can't put this oil down. Well now the day is over anyway. Take my oil. Oh, my oil! 
Here, you take it. You can have it for free. Someone please buy an oil. Oh, this sucks. Oh, it's all dingy back here. Did someone buy an oil? No. Maybe everyone will buy up these ketchups. Did you buy an oil? No. The checkouts are full. Hi, Bay. I'll throw that oil away. This is getting out of hand. Come here. Now you're buying oil. Oh, you suck. No! No, he's stuck too? Uh oh. Okay, we are closed. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Maybe it's because of the eclipse. Maybe they're freaking out. They're like birds. They can't like navigate with magnets when there's when there's an eclipse. Ah, well, no one can like swap registers after they're already in line. So I guess I'll just leave. Parkour! Sure! Whoa. What do you got there, bud? Ice cream. No, you see the ice cream goes over here now. That was before. You need to update your brain when we start the day, buddy. The ice cream goes over here. You're not supposed to put it there anymore. That's where the pizzas go. Ice cream for here. Put the ice cream over there. Put it. Put the ice cream here. Put it. Pay faster! <laughs> oh, Stupid store. Now, well, I feel like we should upgrade, like build a bigger store in general. It's getting a little cramped here. Like if you're standing back here, you could totally steal rice and salt and stuff. No one's gonna see. Not good. All right. When I say drop it, drop it. Uh oh! Uh oh! Okay, hold on. Drop it! <laughs> there they go. Give me those potatoes. These are dangerous. Okay, hello! Good morning! Mm, ice cream. No wonder. Okay, we have 2,610 dingoes. What is our loan at again? It was 2,000, right? We could pay it off early. 1,800. But why? Maybe we don't. Maybe we don't. Maybe we. Oh. Maybe we pay our bills. Oh. Gross. Ugh. Paying the bill. Paying bills is like the worst. Why did they invent that? Bills. Hey, hey. Okay. We could expand our storage, which is probably useful, but boring. We could expand our store, but not today, because that's more than money I have. Probably smart to upgrade the store <laughs> storage facility now that I look around. Okay, let's do that. Storage, storage, storage. Chiching. Whoa! Oh, hey! Oh, yeah! Oh, worth it! My door! Oh, my door! Door, 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 door! Horror door! Look it! Door! Oh, this is the best day ever. Video games are amazing. Now I never leave, need to leave my store. With our newly unlocked secret door. 
It's all I wanted. And some more. Anyway. So, okay, how do we how do we arrange this this now though? Let's put let's put shells here. Whoa! Careful. I used flying fish for this sushi. <laughs> okay, put that there. Okay. Kinda works. I wanna figure out how to maximize maximize? Maximize the space! <laughs> I want it to be max amazing. So I need to maximize it. See, now this is all unused and dumb. These shelves are so sticky outy, though. Like, realistically, that should work. That could work. Oh, also, if you pick something up, escape, does nothing, I feel like it should snap it back to where it was, because now I have to try to finagle it in again. Just a little, you know, point, point of, point of hot top tips. You know, I have developed half a game once. <laughs> okay. I mean, I guess that works. It's a little, it's still not like super space smart. <laughs> Nor am I. But I guess it works. Maybe we should move the computer back here instead. Come with me. Oh, come on. Okay, oh, come on. Don't what you could tell me. Oh, don't. But don't. Oh. Fine. Can I put these in the store? <laughs> we'll just make it like one of those outlet stores. It's not about the beauty. It's gonna... This stuff, place looks like a warehouse, but prices are good. Mm. I guess that works. I guess I could just throw boxes in that hole. That's pretty good. Just whoop! Chuck them. Pretty fun. Alright, just line this up. Nah, line it up as much as possible. Right there. And just chuck parcels. Boom, boom. Nope. Chuck parcels. Okay, that works, I guess. It's a little... Like, the, I feel like those bits, the bits where you stand, they should be allowed to overlap. But I get it. I can't complain too much. This is surprisingly functional. This is, like, more functional than anything that EA has made in the past decade. I don't like this layout, though. I need to find a good... Find a good... Maybe we do... Shelf... Pewter... Shelf, pewter, shelf? Whoa, 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 whoa. Shelf... Pewter... Shelf... Shelf, pewter, shelf. That kind of works ish. Wait, what? Oh. Sticks out a little bit, but if you put another one up against, that's not gonna matter. Hmm. 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 It's pretty good. I don't like the computer in the middle, though. Whose idea was that? Blech. Put it here for now. Maybe the computer should be, like, here, around the nook. 
use this little nook as our computing nook. We could be that we could compute in that nook. Gives us a bit more shelf space as well. Come on. Any day now. Oh. Okay, I'll take it. That works, and then they can... Oh, man. They're like, just... Just... There's space just enough that you feel like, oh, I can slot one in, and then they fit nicely. And then you can't. Hmm... I guess that works. It still feels like I'm just lining the walls, which is a little boring. It does make the most sense, though. And presumably with another upgrade, this chunk is going to get taken out for a big square. All right, fine. This works. I'll put the computer here. Like this. Oh, that's a, that's pretty good actually. Because then I can like, when I'm in the store and I want to order something, I can just like sneakily like <laughs> pop around the corner. Oh, what do you want? Oh, let me order that for you, sir. Twelve cheese. Okay. And I'm down. Okay. Should we also do this? For what reason, though? Uh oh This is why we need escape. Uh oh. Oh no, I've broke it. I can't put it back now. Wait, what? I can't do anything. Wait. No. No. It's stuck in my finger. I can't. No. It's not I don't have it. Escape. And nothing. Escape does nothing. Clicking does nothing. I can't put it nowhere. I'm stuck in the in limbo. I'm stuck in shelf limbo. Ay ay ya. Katie, help me. Help. What do I do? Katie, help me. Trash pandas, you know just what to do. Tell me. can't do it. Oh. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> Alt F4. I was gonna, I was about to do it. But it turns out I can box shelves up when they're f stocked. Oh. Okay. A little weird. We almost, you almost got your wish. like a bunch of food in there. Um, okay. Whoop. Nice. I mean, I guess that works. It has, it has, it has everything we need. We can fit one more in there. Should we need to? There's space for extra boxes. Oh no, it's stuck in my fingers again! Ah, I can't... Oh! Oh. Oh, I, I did it again! Oh. Uh, help. I can't get rid of this box. Don't! Where does it go? Where does it go? Where does it go? Oh no, I've I've shuffled Oh, I did it. Why what's wrong with my sticky sticky fingers? Save Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh so what do we we're lacking a lot of stuff. I don't like that I don't have an easy way to like see what's empty. I guess with another upgrade it'll be easier. I can make it a big square. Oh, 
Okay, fine. And it'll, it'll do for now. As long as we have space. Which we do. We're full, we're full. So what are we out of here? Red flower. Red flower. Uh, red flower cheese. Chocopic. Red flower cheese and chocopic. Okay. Red flower cheese and chocopic. Red flower cheese and chocopic. Red flower cheese and chocopic. Chocopic, chocopic. Red flower. Red flower cheese. 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 And chocopic. Do 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 do. Uh, yeah, I'll do for now. Put it back in the shelf. Yeah, it seems like yeah. Sometimes you have to put stuff in in a slot, and it seems to fix it. It's a little scary. You never know. Where is oh? Where does it go? Hello. Okay. Sir? Pick that up. <laughs> can I hold that for you, sir? Okay, can I hold that for you, sir? Okay, can I hold that for you, sir? Okay, can I hold that for you, sir? Okay. Can I hold that for you, sir? Okay. Can I hold that for you, sir? Okay. Hey. Want some cheese? What's in the box? It's the boy. Um, cheese goes... Oh, now I've completely... Now I'm completely discombobulated. Poor you. The other guy isn't really working, eh? Dude. Cheese. Cheeseburger. Okay, I am stocked. I am. Oh, no. We need mayo. Mayo. Mayo and, of course, potatoes. Mayo, potatoes, mayo, potatoes, dishwasher tablets, and salt. Mayo, potatoes, dishwasher, salt. Mayo, potatoes, dishwasher, salt. Mayo, potatoes, dishwasher, Salt. Mayor potatoes. 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 Dishwasher salt. Potatoes. Woo. Potatoes. Woo. Dishwasher salt. <laughs> and whoa! Oh no! Assault! Whoa! Oh, I thought you stole it. Excuse me. Salt. Mayo. Salt. Dishwash. Potatoes. Dishwash. Mayo. Potato. Man, these potatoes. Maybe we should just have... Like a double potato. Potato, 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 potato. Because they're so big. Should probably do that with chicken as well. But I kind of don't have space. Yuck. Bleh. Alright, fine. It'll do. What else do we need? Chicken. Hot sauce. Where does hot sauce? Oh. Damn it. I can't squeeze in two more hot sauces. Guys, could you two drink a hot sauce each? Come on. You could do it. 
Don't make me throw it away. No, I shan't. Such waste. Where is hot sauce? Oh, hot sauce. Hot sauce, uh, french fries. We're good. We could do with honey cereal. Honey cereal and cheap cola. Honey cereal, cheap cola. And red pasta, of course. Always the red pasta. Honey cereal. Cheap cola. And the red pasta. Mash them. Boil them. Stick them in. Stick them in your poo. Oh, tea. Uh, tea, tea. And blue flower. Not moussaka. Blue flower and not moussaka. Oh. Oh, my money. Okay. Less cereal. Mm, not moussaka. Scallop. What is it? Scallop gratin. One scallop gratin. Thank you. And we are back down to twenty-four dollar dues. Man, how am I supposed to live off of that? Catch it. Here, have all the soda and the gratin and the soda and the pasta and the cereal and the pasta and the tea. Where is tea? Oh, tea. Cheap cola. Cheap col- Cheap cola. Pasta. Red pasta is way too big. I need- I sell like 4,000 red pastas a day, and I can't store more than 16. Oy, oy, oy. It's a hard knock life for a little shop of horrors. I mean, tasty things. Where does this go? Oh. Tea. Cola. And, no, pasta. And, flour. Flour de la Crower. Wait, he stole my scallops. Yeah, you better put him back. I busted you. Uh, throwing fizzy drinks around? No, that's just how we do in the biz. We we order them too fizzy so that we can throw them around and get some of the fizz to sort of seep out before we sell them. So by the time you get them, they're, ju they're just like normal. It works perfect every time. <laughs> kind of. All right. Do you want to be our first? Come on in. Dude, I opened my store for you. Mwah. Mwah. Hello? Who wants to buy? I have a new door. Look, now I'm here, now I'm here, now I'm here, now I'm here. Come see the new door. I've got a door. Look, I can beat you in there, even though I don't use the same door. See? Isn't that freaky? <laughs> They'll never know what hit him. The door. Getting those crabs on, eh? Captain Picard? Let me guess. Tea? Girl Grey? No, just three pizzas. Someone's having a party. What's up? Getting some flour? Yeah, just three bags. Three bags of two kilo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah just get six kilos of flour easily. You want to get some of these potatoes as well? They're the size of watermelons. Well, this is nice. Enjoy your crab and your cheese and your soap. That's smart. Getting hand soap after the crab? Clever. Clever girl. Ah! Go 
ghost. All right, these guys are busy. Uh, should I do anything? Nah, let's just observe and enjoy. Take my place, my rightful place as security camera. <sighs> Guys, there's another register. Okay, you can come here. It's okay. I can get back into the swing of things. Next customer. Next customer, please. New registers open. Customer to the register, please. Could a customer come to the register, please? I'm bored. <laughs> come and pay for stuff. Thank you. Any second now. Customer to make it to my register, get your stuff for free. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, welcome. Today we're having a special offer. Uh, the special offer is that anything that I've promised you is void. Bye. Ooh, thirsty day. Can you tell me what that milk is that you just bought? No? Well, enjoy it anyway. Bye. Hello, sir. Whoa. You're having a party, I can tell. <laughs> Jeez. You're having a potato party. 13350. Ooh. Oh, lactose intolerant, are we? Oh, well, well, well. Oh, you deserve a treat now and then as well. Here you go. Bye. Do, do, do. I must judge him. What's up? Ooh, making a big turkey sandwich, are we? Yeah, well, it's better to be safe than sorry. Two turkeys should do it, though. I think you'll get there. Oh, shit, that's not... Open a do. Is that a zombie? You a zombie? Whoa, don't be embarrassed. Is that your mom? Agent Smith, nice to see you. Good, you're stocking up on that <laughs> store-bought sushi and apple juice. Good to keep a healthy diet. Thank you. Oh, ow. Oof, ow. Oh, I got the worst register. Ow. Oh, hey, who is Peter Griffin? So, so. 23 bucks, please. See you later. Ow. Oh, ow. Jeez, ow, ow. Stop. Oh. Okay, that's enough. That's enough work for one day. Oof. I did like two hours of work then. Have you tried that ever? It's harsh. Here you go. Don't say I ever never do nothing for you. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, what are we missing? Oh, look at that glare on that plastic tape. That looks nice. It's very mysterious back here today. I wish I could hire, I wish I, I wish there was a button that just barred the things that I'm lacking. <laughs> like a digital inventory, I suppose. That would be nice. I'm like, oh, you have zero, this, 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 this. Bye, 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 bye. Anyway. Hello, Ashley. Welcome. Welcome to the store. If you want to buy something, um, I can get you in. Oh, shit. It's still open. Never mind. You can just come by. I can still get you in, though. Don't worry. I'll get you a good price. Do we want to make this personal?
do we wait and specifically let not that guy in? Here he comes. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I don't think you're going to make it. Oh, this store is closed, you see. Oh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> so sad. Sorry, sir. It was nine o'clock. We close at nine. I couldn't help it. I had no choice. Look, this girl's going out with her party hair. I can't keep her. She's all ready. She's all done up. Do you know how much it costs to get this done to your hair? I can't keep her here. She's busy. She had to go back to Spider-Verse. Oh, we've made good money, though. 2,000... We're at 3,000 after today. Jeez. We might even be able to afford a third cashier. Seems excessive, maybe. Actually, we did run into a full, full queue. Hmm. Pretty good. I like the little setup, though. I don't know if I want to, like, change well, it too much. months by Tofu oh. by Tofu Wizard. Loser? <laughs> Loser. Ruthie, thank you for the 13. Wait, 13? That's the, no, 20. 13, uh, uh, what's it called? 13 streak? 20 total. Welcome back. Welcome back to... Tomorrow. Okay, well, actually, just four people who couldn't get their stuff. Okay, soda and chicken. Soda and chicken. Soda. Two cents. They can overpay two cents. And chicken. Nine. No, that's fine. So. Let us do a little... A, a little estimation, a little bit of an, uh, a check, a checkup on our finances. Pay, pay, and bank. A thousand left. Okay. Let's not pay off our loan. Wait. Ugh. Okay, let's definitely not pay off our loan. Let's buy a guy can we buy a guy I can't oh I can't actually buy a guy I can buy another restocker next level but I have to get two more levels to buy a guy Oh, okay. Well, well, well. We are not buying a guy then. What are we buying? Just food, I think. Yeah, I think we have to restock today. We're running out of much. Okay. Okay, let's get... Yeah, let's just work our way through the shelves. So we have two pasta spaghetti, which is kind of pointless. Let's... Can we squeeze... Where are they? Oh, squeeze them in. Yeah, one. I can throw one away. I'm okay with it. For the raccoons. So. Sugar, spaghetti... Uh, ice cream. Sugar spaghetti ice cream. Sugar spaghetti ice cream flour. 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 Sugar spaghetti 
Ice cream flour. Spaghetti. Sugar. Sugar spaghetti. Sugar spaghetti. Ice cream flour. Sugar spaghetti ice cream flour. Purchased. Whoa. The ice cream shouldn't be there. I'm not gonna rearrange everything now, though. Sugar spaghetti ice cream. Oh, whoops. Oh, man. <clears throat> Sugar spaghetti ice cream flour. Ice cream. Did you put ice cream somewhere else now? Uh oh. Where did he put. Where did he put the ice cream? <laughs> oh no! I think he stuck the ice cream in an empty space somewhere. Ice cream? Did he stick ice cream somewhere? <gasps> ice cream! He did. The bastard, he stuck it. He stuck it back here. Next to the milk. What a weirdo. Um, okay, spaghetti. We can sneak into... It's place. Wait, spaghetti. Spaghetti? Spaghetti. Oh, spaghetti. Spaghetti, spaghetti. There's only eight spaghetti in a box. That seems very wasteful. Flour. Flour, flour. Pants per hour. Flour. 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 Okay, flour. So, shelf number one, check. Shelf number two, we need eggs and we need water. Eggs and water. Maybe one candy. Eggs and water. Eggs and water. Maybe one candy. Eggs and water. Eggs and water. Eggs and water. The stack? I hope the stack... I hope the stack falls over onto a car one day and they've just added physics or like collision physics to it in secret update and then it just causes like a massive pileup right outside the door. That would be a nice little exciting time. Ex exciting day at, at the office. Water. What about sneaking in some water? Yeah, perfect. Bon 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 eggs. Okay. Jeez. Chuck them. Egg. 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 Careful, there's flying eggs here. Eggs. Eggs, where's eggs? Eggs. Eggs, eggs. Oh, he's so eggs. Oh no? Why? It's scrambled eggs. Pre-scrambled. It's great. It's a new invention. So now we need salmon... Ella... Milk. Salmon, milk, salmon milk. Salmon milk and cereal salmon milk and cereal salmon milk and cereal milk milk salmon milk and cereal salmon 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 and then and milk and then rice and both sushi Rice, sushi, 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 rice. Oh no, I f- oh. It's hard to keep track of everything you gotta buy. Ten at a time. Uh, this one. That one. Sir? Okay, and then... Big sushi. Go get it. Go fetch. Go get a big sushi. Yeah, yeah, go. Go get it. There it is. Go get it. 
You got it. You found the big sushi. Big sushi. And then milk. Raw fish. And unrefrigerated milk. Just sitting out. Come get it. Uh, cereal, cereal. Free salmon. <laughs> Sorry, just goofing. We make our own fun. Sometimes when you work, when you work uh, retail like this, you gotta like spice the day up a little bit. Throw salmon at someone. Raw fish sitting out in the sun? Yeah. It's nice. It adds it adds a certain like summer flavor, you know? Whoa. Where did my rice go? Did you always already take all of my rice? Jeez, I gotta buy more rice. Rice, chicken, peanut butt. Okay. Rice, chicken, rice, rice. Chicken and peanut butt. Rice, rice, chicken. Chicken, chicken. And peanut butt. Peanut butt. Oh, wait. Peanut butt. Rice, rice, chicken, chicken, peanut butt. I might as well do three, three, three. Just peanut butter. Yeah, peanut butter. It's what we call it in the biz. Yeah, you take that chicken. You take that chicken on a little walkabout. I... Okay, I've got to make some tough choices here. Unless we can squeeze in one more peanut butter on the shelf in the store, we're gonna have to throw this one away, I think. I have a rule. I don't start a day with a box of one. <gasps> hey! It found its place. Do, 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 do. Uh, rice. Oop. Chicken? <laughs> Rice? Don't take my rice! You bastard! What is with these guys? They just love rice. Mm, rice and then rice. What else did I get? Rice? Oh, peanut butt. Shoing. Okay. Chicken, chicken, more chicken, and then we need. Oh man, I thought we were done shopping. There's only one wall. We need cake. We need chocolate. We need both oils. Okay. Oil, oil. Cake. Chocolate. Other oil. And... And... What was it? I guess more chocolate. Let's not overbuy. Toilet paper. Let's get some TP. TP, 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 TP. Oh, we're getting poor again. Although we are stocking up good today. This is going to last us some, some, some sort of time. <laughs> Don't take my TP. Chew. Okay, at least we got ourselves some bun papas. I could go for a good bun papa. I don't know what it is, but I'll take it. It's got a star in it. How bad could it be? I really like that these guys have like no there's there's no expressions there's nothing nothing going on 
They could have just made them robots, honestly. Like, actually make them look like, you know, a Tesla robot or something. You know, motivate this, this, uh, <laughs> this behavior. Or goblins with your little necks. Or gnomes. Head up. Whoa, you're so small. No empty thoughts head. Hmm. I mean, a little envious. Yeah, ignorance is bliss and all that. All right, what are we missing? What are we? What are we out out of? We are out out of not French fries because we are deceptive. We have two boxes. We are out out of. Almost orange juice. Can we squeeze in three? Can I squeeze in three orange juice? Nope. All right, fine. What else? Potato? No, we have a deceptive amount of potatoes as well. Fine, potatoes, check. So, hot sauce? Hot sauce, um, hot sauce, blue, green, green, teepee. Hot sauce, blue, green, green, teepee. Remember the secret code. Hot sauce, blue, green, green, teepee. Hot sauce? Hot sauce. Hot Hot is the name of the hot sauce. That is a very uh, creative name. Ah, watch out, sir! Oh, I saved your life by observing you almost lose it. Uh, oh, right. Boop. Do, do, do. Watch out, sir! Oh, I saved your life by not ending it. You're welcome. What is this? TP? Why did I buy so much TP? I mean, I guess it's good. It's good to have. Such a luxury product. Who needs it? <laughs> uh, nah, I guess so. Okay, green and green. We got green for days now, I think, because these greens are like super jam-packed in there. Oh no, there's just 12. What was the thing I'm thinking of that's super jam-packed? Blue? You want some? Who wants blue? Hello, grazie. Whoa. Did I fall? Did he push me? Can they push? How can, how can they slap? This is blue. Appetit? Appetit. Alright, full, full, full. We have stuff on every shelf. Oh, look at that. The only thing we're missing is extra stuff of stuff we have. And we have 300 bucks left. Wowee! Should we uh, splurge on, like, extra potatoes? <laughs> that seems smart. Mm. 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 Yeah, might as well fill those two slots. What is this? Cleaning and turtle it per per. Let's just get two more potatoes. Oh, oops. Two more potatoes, and then we'll open the day and we'll see where things take us. Let's see, where are my taters? Oh, wait. Potatoes are new. Potatoes are a new discovery. Tato, Tato. Anything else? I guess we could get some more ketchup. Like one. One ketchup. Just top up some things. One ketchup. One. One scallop thingy. Oh, coffee. 
one scallop thingy. Wait, crab sticks? Do we even have that? Oh yeah, there. Okay. Crab sticks. Maybe some crab sticks. Maybe some scallop grotte. I'm really curious now. I, I I thought that sounded not good, but now it, we sell so much scallop gratin that I really want to try it. What is it? Because by the name, it just kind of sounds like fish mush. Which also kind of sounds like Christmas for fish. And I don't know if I'm into that. Because scallop is fish, yes? Like a fish, not like a fish, but like a fish thing. Like a, like a clam. Uh, oh, right. Where do I store? <gasps> nice. 33! How many? Whoa, how many is in? There's 24 in one box. That's great. Cats up. Cats up. Nice. A way to cut potatoes? Wait, a way to cut potatoes? But what's the fish thing? Oh. <laughs> what is the fish thing? There's a fish thing. Fish cakes? <laughs> I think fish cakes has fish in it at least. All right, well, we, don't, we are out of money, but we are pretty well stocked. Let's just run it one more day, see where it takes us. Scallop is a type of shellfish. Yeah, see? As well as a type of shellfish. Oh. Oh. Yeah, so scallop gratin is then that type of shellfish. In a gratin. Gr grat gratin. So it's potato and that. It looks like. I mean, I'm sure it tastes great. Because I'd like a good fish gratin, and that's potato with fish in sauce. Like mashed potatoes surrounding gravy and fish, and it's tasty. Scallops, the shellfish. On its own, though, I remember very much thinking was ugh, because it's like a squishy marshmallow but it's made out of fish taste like a fish mallow okay you and me Jeffrey it's a price off damn it all right, you win this one. Ha ha! Boom! Pick me. Way better. Pick me, everybody. This is a message to every customer. Pick me. I'm the best. Greetings, sir. Thank you for shopping with me today. Enjoy your extra tight panties. Farewell. Greetings, sir. I see. Butt cream, are we? Oh, the microphone is still on. Greetings, sir. Ooh, a lot of toilet paper. Ooh, someone's having a party. Greetings. Nice to see you again. Um, big soda drinkers, are we? Well, it's good for the soul. It's good for the heart. Bye. Still only counts as one. Alright, enjoy. This is a Phoenix Wright soundtrack. So intense. Buy from me. Buy from me. Buy from me. Hello, customer. 
customer. Purchase stuff from me. Hey, it works. Ding dong, ding ding, ding dong, dong dong. Thank you. There you go. And I am the best prices. It's it's uh twenty percent cheaper here. Not even their brother. I quit. Alright, how are we doing, buds? You doing great? Good job, good job. Nice to see you, nice to see you. Hello, good to see you, good of you to come. What's in here? Food? Good. It's just the way I like it. Okay, I'm back in. What's up? Oh, nepotism! Oh, your hair is a ghost. Trump? Well, hey! It's you again. Aw, oh, good man. Welcome, welcome. Here, you can have five dollars. Whoa, he, he took it! <laughs> I didn't mean it. I was just goofing. Yeah, it's nepotism. They're the same character. <laughs> of course he would choose him. Hey, here we go again! Aya! Again! Nepotism! Nepo baby! Come here. John Luke? Etu Luke? How do they see? <laughs> Just stumble their way through the store. <laughs> Magoo their way to the victory. Hello! Oh, goodbye. <gasps> Sir! You're my favorite customer. 49? A oh, weird number. Boom! Sir? Oh, having a nice evening today with your one single... Ow! Oh, I forgot why I don't work late. Bzz, 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 bzz. you want to have wait I can just give them too much well that's fun you can just be like extra generous oh sorry it's just messing around with my money hello 30 oops 3650 $143 whoops 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 Dude, taking all of my potatoes. Yeah, it all fits in one one paper bag. We spent a lot of time and money researching uh, space condensing paper bags. It's where most of our 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 incomes been spent. Hence, uh, this perpetual perpetually pea soup yellow walls we couldn't afford interior decorators after all of that space folding research sadly alas hello mm, sushi and bleach chicken oh shit oh <laughs> jeez uh 254 we have a big spender with poop in her pants. Pew, pew, pew. The car's back. All right, that's it. Store's closed. Boop. Go home. No, you can't come in. Nope. Nope. <laughs> um, you can... You can't make the store look nice yet. Customization is coming soon. It is early access, though. Uh, and in the main menu thingy... Wait, I'm scared to finish before they've all paid. Come on. 
cough it up, get your ice cream, pay your, pay your bills. Thank you. <laughs> 60 days. So yeah, so here it says it says the upcoming stuff. Moving items without boxes. Wouldn't that be lovely? Door interactions, detailed settings menu, cleaning, customization, more decorations and furnitures, self-checkout counters, detailed economy app to see price changes, customer statistic, inventory, and set all the prices, shoplifters, security guards, CCTV, anti-theft doors, expiration dates for some items, putting items on sale to attract more customers, online orders and deliveries around the city, bigger city to travel and deliver around, random wholesale offers to sell lots of product at lower price for instant income, veggies and fruit and weighing them to sell, complete day and night cycle and your store at day, run your store at nights too. Purchasing goods from a local market at lower costs by physically going to and then the list cuts off. <laughs> but that's that's all the upcoming stuff. So it seems like there's a lot of good plans for this game. Which is good. Because I like good and plans. Got dinner now? Oh. From my store perchance? Only the best groceries. Hmm. Hey, don't just throw stuff on the floor. I was just bragging about our store. That's not gonna attract any more customers. Where did you find <clears throat> this box of pizza? Where does it go? Oh. Nice. It's <laughs> just throwing stuff all over the place. Anything they carry when you quit the game, if they're carrying something, they despawn because they spawn back here when you start the game. But the box they're carrying does not. So it just drops to the floor wherever they were when you quit your game. It's silly. Hey, but I'm like a pixel off of level 30 and at level 30 I can buy another checkout no another carry man no another checkout man wait yeah well no I also have to finish a bunch of checkouts but I can actually buy another restock guy if I just buy Four more shelves, though. I can't. I can't fit that. How much for the next storage growth? Eighteen hundred and eighty-one. Why? <clears throat> um. Okay. Pretty good. What about internal? I could grow my store more for 2,600. Mm. 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 I guess I don't really need to grow the store necessarily. It'd just be fun to have a new shape. <laughs> okay, let's let let's let them restock. What can I do? Can I can I re reshuffle this room to fit another four shelves? Yeah. That is a lot. Well, no, what is a lot is paying six, 650, no, 65,000 for the ability to sell whiskey. <laughs> or paying 160,000 to upgrade your store to the max level. That's much. That's muchly. Um, I think I'm not quite there yet. <laughs> but 
let's see what these guys guys can do. If we need to fill up our stock. I do want to get some more lights. I need to get some more lights and I want to reshuffle the storage facility if possible to get two more. No, wait. Four more shelves. Ugh, that's what I need for another stalker. That seems like a waste. They can stock well enough. I should save for another one of uses for this one. Okay, what do we got? We have cleaning solution. Skadoosh. We have chicken. Skadoosh. Potato, potato, potato. Potato? Wait. Ugh, they've done it again. Now we have like a bunch of boxes with almost nothing. Now I gotta go hoover these ones up. Wait for them to pick one of the nearly empty boxes. I can do it. Quickly! Don't do it! Leave it alone. <laughs> okay, good. So now... Now we need to order another round of basically everything. Should we bother? Nah. We'll probably... Let me, let me just... Yeah, no, I'll let them, I'll let them work on their, on their stuff. I'll let them refuel, and then we'll, uh, check back with the store, hopefully when we've got lots of updates. Save. I really, I, this is a really nice game. I really enjoy having this game as, like, a side activity as I... As I watch a show, half watch a show that I've watched before, like I've been rewatching Cougar Town whilst playing this, it's very nice and chill. But we'll hold it there for Supermarket Simulator for today. And uh, let's see how long we've been going for 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 five and five hours and twenty minutes. Do you want to just like pop over to Animal Crossing and just walk about a bit? Go to harvest and stuff. Right as the uh, before we wrap up. Uh, this one. Oh, yeah. We'll see, we'll check in with with good old Mrs. Plop <laughs> and her nips. Do. Nice. Ah. <sighs> okay. Welcome to the island. Here, here is um. Well, it, it's not exactly close to finished at all, but it's kind of coming together. You can start to see see where things are headed. So, this is gonna be sort of the main street, but it, it's... It goes up and down instead of across in this version. It's kind of weird. I don't know if it, it's gonna pay off. I'm, I'm hoping that when I get all the decorations and stuff in, that that will fill out all of the gaps to make it actually look cozy. Right now it kind of looks... Anyway, 
I think it'll be cozy. When it's done, I wish I could keep all of these trees. I've just kind of not bothered to uh, save them and move them. Because they're gonna go away any day anyway. Gonna go a day anyway. Gonna go away any day anyway. Whoa. What a sentence to say. What's my nips? Pussy catch. Whoa, whoa, 105. Oh yeah, I had 123 this morning. And now it's 102, 103. Hopefully uh, I get a fantastic spike tomorrow. That'll be good. <laughs> Bars. Bars. What do I want? What do I want? Nothing. When do I want it? Now? Now. Garbage? Nah. All right, see you later. Do, 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 do. I have 2,000 nips this time, so. I could do with a nice payout. But we'll see. I'm not like, you know, losing sleep over it. It's not like there's a rush. The whole point of starting over is to take it chill, not rush it. No rush, you know, just hanging out. What was that? Oh, you! No! <laughs> Can you just tell me the reaction to you moving away? Teach me that, please. What? I have- I still haven't gotten the reaction, you know, the nervous, like, dancey, kind of, like, has to pee reaction? I think? Yeah, I don't have that one. The plop 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 plop. Who gives you the plop 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 plop? No! The balloon! <laughs> it's too fast! The balloon, come back! No! Why are you so cool? Oh. Stupid balloon. So close. So far. <sighs> yeah, it looks oddly weirdly perfect when it actually floats over the game. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. It is a clip from the game that I've cut the balloon out of, but still. Oh, there's just no one. I don't, see, this is the, this is when you start to miss the eggs. Oh man, there were so many buttholes on the island just some day ago. Now oh, there's just. Sad leaves. I mean, they're not sad, but it's sad that they're already falling away. I want them to stay. You know what I say? Listen to me. Ooh, hey. Oh, yeah, now there's a severe lack of buttholes for sure. Come on, at least give me some. <gasps> <laughs> All the way up there. <sighs> yes, suck it. Suck it, Granny. <sighs> suck it closer. <sighs> oh, it's working! Hiya! Perfect. <laughs> I didn't think that would even work, but hey, here we are. Oh, yeah, I was gonna sell my harvest. It's harvest. If they're gonna go away soon, I want enough to, like, build some cherry blossom stuff, at least. There you go. Got a little bit. Yum. Yum. Hello, Hamey Hank. Welcome to the island. Joke's on you, we never left. Um, what was that? 
going to do? Wait. Don't think I've been to the automatic today. The, the Nook Automatic. The Nook Automaton. I, think, I feel like Harvest Island... I guess, Har well, is Harvest Island worth it now that Kick is here anyway? There's nothing else on Harvest. I mean, sure, there's the Lathe, but... Piff? Katrina? Piff? Haven't played this in ages. Have they recently added anything new? No. Sadly not. It's... It's the same. It's the same. I've just been kind of craving it lately, and I have... I have this island that I restarted. Because I have a second switch for a second island purpose. So I got to do it all over again. Actually, there was a... There was a... Like a leak slash insider slash blah 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 blah. Someone, someone saying something. <laughs> I don't know. It, it was like sourced from an insider, but I mean, anyone can say that they have an insider. It wasn't a reputable site though, saying that insider sources are pointing to the next Animal Crossing uh, or the next game in the Animal Crossing series being. Slated for 2026. So maybe next year they'll show us something. That that'd be kind of cool. But yeah, I do I do wish they would have capitalized on the potential of this one a bit more. I mean, it's a great game. It's just it has so much more potential. Nice. What do I want to do then? I want to... I want to build a stairs... I need a stairs for... I need a wooden stairs and I need a log stairs. I need... yeah, I need a... Or I need a rock stairs here, and I need log stairs here. Let's get that. Do, 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 do. I'm glad I have this game though, physical. I feel like. Now that it's like more and more apparent how older games are becoming unplayable and just unaccessible, they just disappear and die because you don't have them on social oh, social media, on physical media. Um, I really hope that more games or most games, all games, consoles that come out in the future have physical options as well. Like, I don't want, I don't want to, if, if in five years I want to play this game and I only had it digital and then all digital games were just like gone. Mmm, sad. But like if Steam, if Steam shut down, you couldn't play any of your Steam games. And that would be quite sad. Okay, do I want to move... Do I want to move the... Oh, a bridge though. Oh man, I can't do both a bridge and a stupid bridge. Um, move the campsite. Oh, I still have two houses left. Whoops. <laughs> Where do they go? Um, probably up by the road. The campsite is the weird, weirdest place though. Campsite. Elu, Elu. What should I do? No. Let's talk about this. There was actually, I think, Microsoft, of all people, are like... They, they started some, like, games protection... Old Games Protection Act or something. Or they want to they wanna do it. They are gonna do it. 
something about preserving older games that, like, when older games go out of production and also hosting when it comes to, like, server server games, that games companies... Oh, yeah, it was in France that they want to, like, make it part of the deal if someone makes a live service game it should be part of the deal that when they are not providing the servers anymore that they should then be kind of forced to have some sort of option for offline play like they have to like patch in or update the game in a way so that when they shut down their services you can still play the game maybe with limited functionality but at least you can play it on your local computer i really hope that that becomes norm the norm where it's always always possible to play it offline it might not have all of the functionality but i still feel like it's such a shame to just lose out on so much so many games Like, even, even stuff like World of Warcraft and games like that. People made private servers for ages before Blizzard made WoW Classic. But even if you had to make, like, a LAN, LAN server, um, or, like, local network only, like, hosts, host your own kind of Minecraft style, even then, it's worth giving players the option, I think, rather than just a game becoming lost forever so it'd be nice to see some sort of restoration restoration thing restoration group restoration publisher that like when old games go out of fashion this restoration station gets the licenses or purchases the licenses for cheap just to sort of retain the game alive. That'd be nice. Mm. Campsite here. There's gonna be a lake here. So camping by the lake might be nice. There's gonna be a river going down this way. So there's a lake here. Camp on, camp on the other side of the lake. Kind of cool camping here, next to the bigger lake, and then there can also be like a a waterfall. Hmm. I think here might be nice. I'm gonna put you in your rightful place, campsite. Oh yes. Believe you me. Eh, there? No, scooch it out. Yes. Oh, but it's so close to the edge. But I can extend the edge. Mm, but I don't want to... Oh, if only you could, like, nudge it one square one way or the other with, like, the buttons. Direction buttons. Yeah, okay. Oh, that'd be nice. So then all of this can be lakeified. Oh, maybe with, like, a little diagonal bridge. <laughs> Look, you can see the shadow of the fruit. The shadow of the fruits on the tree when I walk this way. Because the fruit despawns because it's too far away from the camera. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Mi the, yeah, what happened with... Uh, did Nintendo... When Nintendo seized and desisted Yuzu, and Yuzu shut down, and Citra shut down... <coughs> did Citra shut down? And does that mean that the... The emulator for... The MetaQuest emulator for 3DS games? Did that one die? Because it was a new emulator for 3DS games for the Meta Quest so that you could play games in 3D on your headset, emulated. Which I really wanted to try, but I hadn't gotten around to it yet. I guess now it's probably just gone, 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 gone. But. Citra, Citra, and um, whatever version was good though. I think that one still, I mean, I'm pretty sure even though officially these emulators are not being developed anymore, you can still download them, use them. I'm pretty sure that's still possible. Um, I mean, I don't know where and I don't really have need for it personally right now but I bet you could yeah. weren't they open source <laughs> anyway dude yeah it's, I don't know I, I always find it weird when studios get so up in arms about products that they are no longer using or d or selling you know like if there's a, an old game that you cannot legitimately buy why not let someone else provide that unless they plan to officially do it why not <laughs> why not just let people Enjoy it. Do I want to spend the money here? Is it... Is there a point to it? I feel like her giving her haircuts, by the way, it feels like there's a connection between how many of these places you unlock and the number of haircuts she gives you. Because I didn't get one for the longest time, and then I unlocked one more of these, and then she gave me a haircut. So maybe if I unlock more of them, I get more haircuts. But I don't want to. Um, yeah. It's just, I don't know. There's a lot of games that I want to replay from my childhood that I can't. So, it's it would be sad to see so many more games go that way just because they weren't they weren't like cataloged and backed up to death. In time, this is like the third time you're here. You really want to have a house, eh? Hmm. I mean, my reputation probably precedes me when it comes to decorating internals and externals for party goers and beach planners alike. No wonder she wants my services so badly. She knows that, that Mrs. Plop is the bestest. <laughs> do, 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 do. Ahoy, ahoy. Ooh! I mean, I kind of really just want to unlock pillars and counters. But I gotta do... I gotta go to work a lot more. Maybe 
need this one, though. How much? Oh! Cheap. So cheap. Bye-bye. <laughs> Oh. oh well. We got a little shopping done. We got some chores done. We... What else did we do? We finished... We've done a lot. We finished Little Guardsman. We restocked our store. We made a lot of money. We spent a lot of money. Made a lot more money. We went shopping a little bit. <coughs> Good day. And it's only 6 p.m. But I think it's time to wrap it up. Um, surprisingly, though, the store is still open, so I can actually get food, which is nice. Hey, when was this eclipse about to happen? Because I've been keeping an eye on the outdoors this whole time, and uh, I've seen, I've seen the sun. Do 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 do. I've seen the sun, and I say, it's all there. <laughs> 3 p.m. EST. What time is it now? Uh, that's in like three hours? Yeah, so like three hours. <gasps> Ooh, wait, but then the sun is going to have set here anyway, so I won't see nothing. What was I doing? Oh, uh, stairs. I would like to purchase one stairs. Very please. One incline sorry <laughs> stairs is a forbidden word incline log Thanks. yes please at least he doesn't charge you 10000 for the marker kit if that was the case tom we would have had to have words Stairs have become the most expensive thing in the world. Stairs and bridges. You can move the entire museum for 10k, but you want to move a stairs? Oh. Wait. And. Boom! And. Boom! Do 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 do! Good job, Lloyd. Hang out and have fun. Ah. What a day. Come on, Grandma. Let's go sit under your tree. Ah. Oh. That'll be it for today. Uh, me and my... Me and my sprained finger are gonna go and have... Well, actually, have a pee, but then also go and have a shop. Uh, and then tomorrow... <laughs> tomorrow I have... I have torture again. Tomorrow at 10 a.m. It's torture time. Boo-hoo. Boo-hoo-hoo. Anyway. If I survive, I'll see you on Wednesday. Uh, for some, I don't know yet, <laughs> work stuff? Uh, for now, though, farewell. Good luck with torture, thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really try to, to use my numbing cream properly. So hopefully I feel as little as possible. Anyway, see you next time. Goodbye! <laughs>